Welcome to Black Bag. Thank you very much for joining us. There was a story that was very interesting that went all the way up to just right when we hit. So thank it's, you for it's that. about Sean having fluffy hair. Yeah. You guys know Sean. Yeah. We love you know. Sean's hair. There is nothing wrong with fluffy hair. I think everybody can Mrs. agree Hungerham. on that. Mrs. Hungerham. Mrs. Hungerham. That was a running joke throughout all of our yeah. season, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Had to talk so about some cosplay stuff. You thank know, you very important. much for joining us. As you can see, we are missing two Vikings, and we've replaced them with two awesome Vikings. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Ben and Jordan and even Dom uh, are not here tonight, uh, but we've replaced them with uh, Kelsey and Nick and our lovely tech person, Steve, who is dressed perfectly he's immaculate he looks wonderful the best technician i've ever I seen i didn't even know you could find tails in this day yeah, i mean it's yeah. amazing it is it's, wow. it's a tour de force really it really is so um before we get into it i just wanted uh to talk about uh last week george romero passed away and I wanted to just take a second to kind of honor him because if you think about it, the man started an entire genre of horror, actually introduced a new monster. Before George Romero, it was voodoo zombies who were affected by a chemical and it wasn't the same thing. And we've gotten awesome video games about it, awesome movies. He really pioneered something cool and there's not many people that can say that you know bram stoker brought all these things together for dracula lovecraft and uh you know he is definitely up there in in that kind of realm in my opinion so we uh you know my condolences our condolences to his family and uh thank you so much for everything you did for the genre and for pop culture and everything else, it, it's going to live on, well, it's going to undead live on forever. <laughs> um, so thank you for that. Um, so next thing, let's talk about the show we're playing. We're playing Black Bag tonight, and uh, we're Vikings. The group, last time we were together, made it to Baghdad. Uh, unfortunately, Bragi, which is played by Nick, uh, <laughs> did not like the fact that some of our other Vikings had partaken in eating a person. And so he was subdued until they could <laughs> talk with him about the difference between doing something maliciously and doing something because they were all going to die. Or at least they thought they were going to die. Remember, person is a sometimes food. Yes. <laughs> yes. If you're in, if your last name is Donner, it might happen. Um, so basically, he spent the entire last game either tied up or somewhere else dealing with these conflicting feelings of disgust and revile. Um, and uh, they made their way to Baghdad and found out more about the City of Pillars, which is where they've been traveling to, which is located in Mesopotamia, which is the same place as where Baghdad is. Um, now, I want to talk about tiers real quick. We do not have rerolls tonight, and we do not have push tokens. And the way that that's going to affect you guys is like this. In the normal game of Call of Cthulhu, you can say, I want to push this skill, OK? And then you make the roll, and something bad might happen if you miss it, right? Well, what we used to do is pushes could be used for anything. So we still have two push tokens. Those two push tokens on the table can be used for combat. But after they're gone, no more combat push to tokens. We're also done away with rerolls. We've also done away with San and, um, San and hit point boosters for, for right now which is kind of horrifying if you think about it. <laughs> Meaning, more than likely, limbs or and you know, souls might be lost. On the table right now are two envelopes. One of the tiers, and I think it's the $75 tier, is the envelopes of fate. Now, what the envelopes of fate are is one of them is a good thing and one of them is a really bad thing. <laughs> and um, <laughs> <laughs> the bad one is Wes kills all of us. Yeah. Like players. Yeah. Just I, in I real start. Life. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the show. <laughs> These aren't ping pongs. They're explosives. <laughs> no, filled with cyanide. Yeah. They're filled with cyanide. You can't see the explosive uh, anklets that we're all wearing. <laughs> right. 
Right. <laughs> We're so happy to be here. <laughs> if, if they go be, be, uh, beyond the cameras, their head explodes. Yeah. It's very Tiger Running bomb. Man. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that didn't oh, look that's good. That's a good thing done well. Oh, oh, isn't no. it a good thing that? that <laughs> yeah, that's a great. You said re rolls to the cornfield. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, that's one tier that we're going to do. It's up to the elder gods, you guys, uh, whether or not those tiers happen. I call them tiers for fears because oh. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm a dad, and that's a pun that because I just you, can't pass up. <laughs> because you want to rule the world? It's yes. Pretty, it's yes, pretty great. Yes, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. <laughs> well, and it is a horror game. Yeah. So it yes. Is horror. yes. It's pretty great. So. Game um, recognized game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so take a look at the tiers. Donate. Uh, your donations help us keep the lights on and, and keep going. Uh, finally, like I was saying about last game, uh, you guys just got to Baghdad. Is there anything else, those of you who were here, because you missed the show, you were on the show and then now <laughs> and then you're back. Like, yeah. um, uh, so it, I guess it's you and Megan. Do you guys have anything else major that happened? Uh, the book is missing. Yeah, what's right, his face? The book's missing. Musa. Oh. Musa, Musa ran run. away with the book. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. There were no dishes or spoons that ran away, but Musa, <laughs> Musa ran away with the book. And um, uh, we are all very upset about that, but um, Grimuir feels that it's okay to press on without the book. I feel that if he stole the book, we're going to find him again, and it will be in the City of Pillars. Okay. So we're going to end up finding the book again anyway. Okay. Um, so there. I, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and although I cannot read, uh, I looked at the book. And, and so did so, Raggy. Well, not yes. you, too. <laughs> it called to me. It was burning me from my bag, and I had, to, I had to look at it. And I looked at it, and it showed me some horrific scenes of things to come. Right. So. Horrible, horrible. Horrible, things. horrible <laughs> things. Okay, so that's basically where we're at. Now, uh, because uh, the way that we're setting this up, because, you know, Ben and, and Jordan couldn't be here, is that the um, two of them and several of the other Vikings decided to go forward uh, just to do some reconnaissance, kind of look around about the area that they're going to be going into and figure out an estimation on how many more provisions they'll need. And Grimir's kind of looking for something that they can, uh, you know, like if, if, he's, if he wants to research in the library more, he will. Or something like that. So they are not with you guys right now. You guys set up camp right outside the city. Okay. Um, no, at the end of the last game, we had said we were resting. Right. For a couple. Are we at full health now? Have we regained any are, sand? Oh, now, did, how long were you guys going to rest for? Like a couple of weeks, I think. Like a few weeks. Yeah. Um, well, the thing with the game, the actual rules of the game is you have to go for like a few months. But I can give you guys back. I'll give you guys back like three points to start okay. with. So, okay. Steve, can can you add okay. three points to their totals? Mm -hmm. Do you have their current totals, or you might want to get current totals? Yeah. Right now. I also get Kelsey's character name. That'd be great. Oh yeah, I'm Gita, G Y D A. Okay. Do you need how many hit points I have? Well, yeah, that'd be great. Eleven. Okay. It's only yeah. one ghoul bite away from. Mm hmm. The afterlife. <laughs> Do um, have I regained any sanity? No. Over the past time. No. And that's two for everyone. Said? I had to ask. Um, three, three for everyone. Three. 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 Okay, so uh, Nick, you're at sixteen total, correct? Um, no, my hit points are twelve. Oh. Oh, oh sixteen. That would be amazing. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So. Um, Ingfield is ten out of twelve. And Birna is 9 out of 13. And are you tracking San as well? Uh, sanity? Yes. Everybody knows there's no sanity clause. <laughs> Tee hee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Kelsey, what's your sanity at? Um, let's see. So started at 53, but I've taken Whoa. four points of so insanity, then, did, so oh, 49, okay. I sanity, guess. Yeah. That's nothing. That's, oh, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know. 
It's so hard. <laughs> Everything's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> wow! No one forgot to update this thing last week. I, start, I started at seventy-five. Okay. We went down but I'm, one. But I'm currently at twenty-nine. Ooh, so you're losing your mind. Oh yeah, we're all insane. I lost like <laughs> super thirty insane. points last game. Actually, I'm pretty There's sane by comparison. To yeah, else. yeah. I've got oh. sixty-eight oh, out of yeah. my eighty. Well, now eighty. You're doing uh, great, right? 68. I'm really glad the Vikings eight, yeah. can pat each other on the back and work and together. You're doing well. Uh, <laughs> Inkfield is 63 out of 80. Okay. Man, I'm going to the nut hatch. Mm -hmm. uh, Greenyard is really bad too. <laughs> he's like, well, yeah. he's been casting. Oh, he's been yeah. casting spells. Unless he lost, and, yeah, unless he lost more in last book. game. He did. He was, he was one point below me. He was, he was at like 25 or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, yeah, and then uh, Magnus isn't doing super hot either. Right. The women in this family are doing way better sanity-wise. <laughs> As in real life, yes, probably. <laughs> um, so you guys are waking up, and uh, it is now, you know, you're in the Fertile Crescent, and it's also getting close to, to winter time. so it's actually kind of cool. Uh, there's... Uh, do on on everything and there's lush high grass and and stuff like that uh, the city itself is a marble city that's pretty new at this time period it's only been around it's a muslim city it was built uh specifically by muslims a hundred years beforehand and so um it does not have the same pallor of mud and and uh, thick you know cracks in the wall as as other places do um, <coughs> excuse me. So you guys walk, wake up and you see a, a man approaching you and he's in a typical like desert garb, large linens and, and things. Linens and things, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, linens and... Uh, Do we have a coupon? Yeah, you mm. might. Tell us <laughs> so. This is my first, uh, this is my first store of linens and things. <laughs> Does anyone have a coupon that they'd like to <laughs> buy sheets with? Always. Um, and uh, he's approaching your camp. Uh, he's alone. He doesn't look armed. And, uh, you know, he's walking up. Do you... He doesn't... I mean, so we've been here for a while. It's not like somebody approaching us. We'd be like, oh, kill them. I mean, I right. assume we'd yeah. be like, oh. yeah. okay. Yeah, it's not. Um, you still have your... Um, your interpreter, which of course you kind of have to have, mm -hmm. and uh, he walks up. I, I got harap, harap, harap. harap. Um, so, <laughs> gotta let that one go. Um, I just for some reason harap Obama. Oh. I don't know why it. Probably Every time be. I hear harap, I think of harumph. You know, yeah. it makes me think harap, like hooray. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that's how you get a harumph out of that guy. What we say when he comes by. Yeah. Harumph! That's <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Uh, thank you, Sanity Claus, for <laughs> donating a dollar. Yeah. I'm well, so ten, glad you exist. $10. He's thank real. You. Oh, ten He's real. Yeah. Sanity oh. Claus is real. We have the proof. <laughs> Where's so, my fucking bike? <laughs> I've been waiting for it for 35 years. <laughs> I'd like my bike, hey. Sandy Claus. All right, so <laughs> thank you very much for donating that. Um, I'm going to guess that's either Texas Devon or BSB Care because they like to change their names. So. Mm -hmm. um, you never know. Are you breaking the mystery here? No, I'm sorry. Sandy Claus is actually Texas Devon or BSB yeah. Care? In a at costume. Every single, oh. I can't. At every single mall you go to, it's Texas Devon. <laughs> <laughs> he drives really fast. Mm, I um, guess so. From so Texas. It's from Texas and <laughs> everywhere else. Uh, he's the 14th doctor. No one knows. Uh, so you guys... See this guy coming up, and obviously you're not going to freak out or anything or draw swords or anything. Uh, and he says, uh, hello, I am sorry to come so early. I wanted to speak with you. And this is all coming through your through harap. harap. Um, I am uh, Ahmed Hazal, and uh, I need your assistance. What sort of assistance? Um, well, 
it's, it's, diff, it's difficult to talk about, but my, my lover has been, I don't want to say kidnapped, or he, he's struggling for words. He goes, I think he's been influenced by this cult. Uh, his name is Ibris, and he's been missing for a day now. And I, I can't go to my family because my parents hate his family, and it would just be an argument I, I don't want to deal with. We've all been there, right? Don't want to deal with arguments like that. So uh, I would, uh, I knew that you were foreigners and you could maybe help me find him and deal with this, this cult. What, why, I mean, what will we get out of it if, if we put ourselves into danger for your lover? He moves his robe and pulls out a, a bag, and he puts the bag down. Thank God it was a bag. <laughs> Thank God it Excuse was a bag. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> That's not what I want. <laughs> this is what you get, baby. In that case. Well. I'm the proto-Chippendale. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So. Um, Sorry. <laughs> No, don't be. That was funny. Uh, so he drop, He puts the bag down, and it's it's got gold coins in it. He goes, I'll give you this bag of gold coins now and a bag of gold coins later if you help me with this. Is it a lot? It's are a we good like, amount. Wow, okay. Or are we like, <laughs> what's this? Well, let me put it this way. You guys have been in a boat for a long time, and you haven't raided or traded for much since you've been on this quest. Uh, you have been dealing with books that make you go cuckoo. You have been dealing Reanimate with... Reanimate troll arms. Yeah, go, ghouls, Strangle, everything else. Ghouls. So yeah. somebody offering you money at this point, you're like, well, maybe I can finally right. buy a boat or, you know. Okay, sure, we'll help you. I could probably do this one by myself. Seems easy enough for me. <laughs> I'll help you, I guess. I mean, you can. It might be boring. What can you tell I'll us about I'll make sure this you're cult. doing things right. <laughs> Um, not much, things, unfortunately. Right? He started going to uh, less and less to the mosque and, and wasn't doing prayers. And he told me that he had found a new way, that there was some old god that had lived in this area that he uh, believed in now because of this cult leader. But he, he, never, he never got into specifics, but he would come home and he would be his hands would be as if he had punched someone and his body would be bruised. And I always, you know, would question him and mm. say, go back to, you know, talk to the imam and go back to, to the mosque. And he wouldn't listen. And then a couple of days ago, he left a note saying that he wasn't going to come back, which is an odd thing. I think that this, this cult has really done something to his mind, you know? Um, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I, I need to find him. You know, you, you know you're supposed to spend your life with someone, and so they get into something they, that is scary like this. And Go on, a man should not abandon his gods. Right. Well, if you could, I was going to take you to his, to his place and have you look around and then maybe you could go into the streets and ask some questions and kind of figure out. I, I found you through the librarian. He had said you had come into town looking for some book and that maybe you would be sympathetic to uh, the strangeness dealt dealing with the cult. What, what is the name of the cult? Um, I don't know. It sounds like some sort of cult he's not allowed to talk about. Probably a rule or something. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> what is the first I was rule? To work I know. That. I was too. <laughs> 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 like our that. heads are like. Are to be like serious. The first rule of fight cult. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is once I said the sentence out loud because you write things at home with Cheetos and Coca Cola around you, and you think this is awesome, and then. You say it out loud and go, oh, oh God, I just wait. did Fight Club. I just started <laughs> and and then and then he had things in Fight Club. God damn it. Call of Cthulhu. Call of well. Cthulhu. 
you know, Fight Club's, we've, we've invented many things. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. In a pinch. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 Now things Fight I can't Club. even remember anymore. Mm -hmm. Coupons. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, coupons, coupons. Linens, linens, and things. And things. linens and things. Just today, apparently. Yeah. So we're on a roll. Make sure that you are updating Wikipedia pages. As <laughs> the Vikings invented coupons. The Vikings coupons invent first and yeah. linens James and things. Was created in Baghdad. In <laughs> it was just a man walking around in incredible clothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're wonderful. It's linens and things. It's just, it's linens, just linens and, and things. things. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, he uh, he tells you that he'll uh, you know he'll pay you this gold and <coughs> and if you can find this cult and and see if you can get his lover out of it, that would be great. And then he'd give you another bag of gold, an even bigger bag. He says, Ooh. same amount of gold, just a bigger bag. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> But it's made out of linens. Goddamn lawyers! And yes. things. And things. Um, or stuff. Sure, well, <laughs> surely you must know something about this cult. It, it will be difficult for us, strangers in your land, to wander around and just ask people about a cult if we have no more identifying features. Well, they wear, uh, they sometimes wear black sashes around their midsections, like a belt, to keep their robes together. Um, and they tend to be unkept. Like you've noticed in Baghdad, everybody's very, very like clean. And unlike most European, on the European side, you know, people have messed up hair and they don't bathe that often. They're immaculate here. They're compared to Europe. Um, these people are more disheveled. And so they're more, they kind of have more, a little bit more of a crazy look to them with messed up hair and the black sash. And, Do they run and around saying? Dirty room. Marty! <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, but uh, that's, uh, that's what he knows at this point. He does tell you that if you go to certain sections of the town, like in the more poor regions, or even to uh, if you speak to maybe the librarian, because they're in and out of the library a lot, because they're looking up different things. Uh, for their religion. Um, the local authority, he wants to pull his lover out of the situation before the local authority gets involved. Because if they get involved, they'll persecute him, possibly, you know, their families. the families and everybody else, because they'll try to cleanse the city of this pagan influence. Pagan influence. <laughs> um, so that's oh, Yeek. yay! Yay! And that's why I'll never eat pickled herring again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah. I, okay. So he tells you all this stuff. Is there any more information? He seems like. He doesn't know all that much, um, and he doesn't seem to be hiding anything from you guys. It's not like he's, uh, you know... Being purposefully deceptive. Yeah. He from, won't. For, from your own knowledge, is this cult dangerous? I believe it is. The damage that I've seen on the cult members and the fact that I've heard rumors of people in the, the slum areas disappearing, I believe that they're very much, you know, in danger. Um, and I can only, I don't know the extent of the sacrifices they make to this God, but the old ways are, are brutal, much more brutal than the, you know, Islam. And he then mutters a prayer to Allah real quick. Well, take us to wherever it is we need to go to begin. You said to his home. Right. All right. Who's coming? There's so. gold in it. All right. We're so, all coming. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. We like gold. Should be an easy job. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Nah. Fuck. <laughs> Boy, that was entertaining for Broggy. <laughs> for Broggy. Thanks for joining us. All right. So you guys go into the city. And like I said, um, uh, originally, this is a, a beautiful city. It's got uh, 
marble everywhere. It's been really well done. Uh, but like any city, uh, there are people here who are not as well off as, as others. It's just the, the way that things are. So as you're walking through the street, you do notice every once in a while, uh, you know, someone begging for, for change or for food or whatever. Can everybody give me a spot hidden roll? Yeah, I just realized I need a... Ooh, some dice. Nice. Oh, 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 wow. oh <laughs> I spot nothing. The sky a, is there. I have a 97. Okay. I spot something. Make sure you're making check marks as you're making. 31 out of 39. What skill is this? Uh, Sorry. Spot uh, hidden. Spot hidden. Spot, oh, spot uh, hidden. I make a, I make a Thank heart. You. Oh, I nope. make a heart spot. Mm -mm. So. Nope. One shield. <laughs> Look over there. That's linens and things, right? You see it? It's there. I'm too Another busy. one? Wait, is it by the bed or the bath? Or is it oh, beyond? beyond. Uh, it's beyond. There's man, also a coupon for they, that. They franchise that shit yeah. quick. <laughs> And, well, franchise fees back then were a lot lower. I mean, it was, it was you know. <laughs> Made a lot more sense then. Just a little bit. Um, so you guys, uh, you two noticed that, sure enough, there's three guys at different places, and uh, one of them is a woman. So you have four people all together. Uh, scattered throughout the streets that kind of they they look a little unkept and they've got the but they're not begging for food like the other people are um and they've got the black sashes on um <coughs> so you make your way through the street and you make it to the apartment and it's beautiful like it's got it's got nice furniture stuff you guys have never seen before because even even the Jarl has basically really simple you know things and uh, well, we might have uh, like you know raided some of this yeah fancy yeah stuff. <laughs> that's what probably would it's like damn this is we should raid this place um, we should we're gonna take a few things right he's, he's <laughs> lost yeah. to the cult we'll just yeah. right <laughs> I don't know the cult members came in and took it all Weird. <laughs> so, uh, everybody give me a spot hit and roll as you're looking through. I rolled a 97 again. Wow. Tonight's going to be your night. I, did I one. rolled. Wow. We did, we did worse. worse. Look, another linens and things. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> She's just against the wall with her nose right here. <laughs> Can you see it through this wall? I, I got stuck walking into a corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, She's <laughs> clipping again. <laughs> <laughs> no, this way. Vikings invent another thing. Um, <laughs> so you look around. You got an eight. You got a one. Oh so my! You both, wow. Uh, you see that some of the work on the wall, the stone and the marble, there's just a little gap, um, and so it looks like it's some kind of door or panel that can be removed or something. Mm. Hmm. Okay, I start pushing on it. Okay. Anything? You can definitely feel that there's something behind it, but pushing on it doesn't seem to. Uh, anything nearby that like I can move and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can like kind of pull on. Like if you want to take a blade and and try to pop it open, you can do that. What are the like if we if I follow the hairline? What what are the dimensions? Are we talking door sized or wall sized or box um, sized? Like window, like decent, like this big by this big, like about that. So, okay. Okay. Um, so not I'll full, definitely not broggy size. So, I can use my axe to kind of maybe pry it open. Um, just so you know, I don't think we are doing those anymore. Do no, and I forgot to mention it. Um, we can do that for this one because they donated for it, but. Can we put that money towards the, the main story tiers as well? Okay. So let, we'll do that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, what, what did you just say? I was using my axe to kind of pry it open. Okay. Um, so you're. Is, is, um, is Ahmed with us? Yes, he is. Okay. Oh, darn. He goes, I, <laughs> what are you doing to the wall? There's a, a, a line, some sort of a door window. Is this. Is this Something you know of? No, I, I do not. Um, so you uh, give me a 
Let's do luck. Woohoo, luck! <laughs> I always forget where luck is. It's under your sand? It's under the Call of Cthulhu thing, this, yeah. This, uh, a big box. box. And I also apologize oh, to them that I didn't Did make that clear. I don't want to say it out loud, though, because I don't want them to know. Hey, guys. Uh, 48 under my 55. All right. No, no, no. So you crack it, and the, um, the whole thing just kind of pops out like an inch and just falls down and, and busts down the center, right? It's pretty heavy. And the little mechanism over there that you like, you're supposed to like slide, like push on this little thing on the side and pull it over. Um, and you're standing right there and you see this mirror. Um, and in the mirror, you see yourself and, and suddenly you start to age very quickly. Um, and your, your <clears throat> nose cavity kind of falls Ooh. in on itself. Oh. And your eyes uh, start to dry out. And, Do we all see this? Uh, no, he's standing right there because he was right next to it. And then she's going to see it in a second. Oh, I forgot. I don't want to make right. rolls in this game. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> yeah. everything you see uh, give is me a, uh, Give me, uh, this is going to be because this was something an elder guide wanted. Yeah. So give me a sand check with a, a, oh, a uh, bad die. Okay. With something lost. With something lost. Oops. There you go. Nope. <laughs> cock die, cock oh, damn it. I it's like, rolls here. It's too. like, no. Like I said, this hurts me as much as it helps me. <laughs> Uh, so you take the worst like one. 89. Okay. So probably not. So, um, Steve, I don't know who did the fright, but who was the person that donated uh, for that? Sci-Fi T-Rex. Sci-Fi T-Rex, sci thank you. Sci-Fi T-Rex. Sci <laughs> 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 oh, see, that's why he doesn't like any of you. He keeps like... <laughs> That's just sci-fi team. Yeah, okay. but I'm just saying. You guys keep flipping them up. Pick on the guy with 29 <laughs> sand. Thanks a lot. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, what's your current sand? Well, we're uh, going to find out. We're about to find out. Right. Right. Oh, you're lucky. Get it. Only one, eight points. One Ooh. point. One point. Oh. Suck it. If you want, I can make Come it, on. Come on. Don't tempt him. Yeah, you should. Bring it. He actually will. I Bring thought for it. a second you were saying you had one sand. I was like, oh, oh no. That's you can't be functioning right. like a human anymore. <laughs> so as you're sitting around, you're, as you're looking at the rest of the apartment trying to find... I wonder how this. many linens and things there are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and you see a uh, something ah! glisten on the floor as he's yelling. You guys are completely on the other oh, side. Yeah. You see him looking in the mirror and instinctively after all of the crap that you've gone through, break I the window. The mirror, you mean? Yeah, I'm going to say that because it's just a reaction. Oh, uh, yeah, or, I would have done that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So you break the mirror before you see anything. Um, so thank you, Sci Fi T Rex, for the donation. We really appreciate it. We Even really know fingers yes. fly. Yes. Um, so you're looking around. <laughs> they fly with love. You, you're looking Join around. Join the you embroidery a, on the rugs and the tapestries. You notice a gold. Pocketing a few uh, things. Yeah. <laughs> just a few. This is He'll never miss take those pencil. He'll never miss so is it like tiny homes? Is this tiny rating? <laughs> yeah. Like just small things? I guess so. Whatever I can carry. You notice a gold coin sitting um, <laughs> sitting behind one of the um, chairs. A gold coin? A gold is coin, and it has a symbol on it. Mm -hmm. um, and it you um, you feel like it's radiating. Uh, something good. Okay. Like we don't it just, feel that it has very a, often. <laughs> right? Yeah, it has a it has this this like almost aura around Am it. Am I aware of that or is it sort of a subconscious like, oh this thing seems yeah, really cool. Then I would pick it yeah. up. Yeah. Um, it is a it, it's a weird symbol on one side and then there's all this writing on the other. And the symbol on one side is a star <laughs> with a eye in the middle. Okay. Okay. And you just instinctively like, oh, this is cool, and you put it yeah. in your pocket. Okay. Okay. It's um, a token of re-roll. Re -roll. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably, I'd probably be like, maybe green your roll. Can read this later. So, yeah. right in here. Mm -hmm. Just real quick, thank you. Uh, we've unlocked two tiers, so thank you guys. Oh, thank you. Say thank you. 
Is is uh, once the mirror's been shattered, is there there's a, the, are, a space are behind it? Right, but the mirror itself, the shards, are they still? Do they show normal? They or show are they normal. Still, okay. They you broke the, uh, the enchantment. You broke the enchantment. Okay. I'm gonna take the biggest the piece of mirror. Okay. And wrap it wrap it in like a you know rag and a stick linen. It murder everyone. No. Yes. <laughs> in a linen. In a linen. Unfortunately, and after things, four yeah. hours of fighting people, you're like, oh, that's. And you pull it out, and it's just like glitter. <laughs> <laughs> that's in the future. Maybe that's my plan. Uh huh. Yeah, maybe know. that'll work. Sharp um, they could distract. Could, could be the new Rick Taylor, <laughs> <laughs> but with glass. Yeah. <laughs> just horrible, horrible glitter. So inside, you notice that there <laughs> this is. This is the worst party ever. <laughs> <laughs> my drink has a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> Uh, so inside this box, you, behind the wall, in the mirror, you find this weird looking, like, jar with a, you know, uh, the top has been, you know how usually they'll take out the top and do the top separate and then put the top back on. This has been made where whatever they put in, they, they did a seal around it. Uh, so, and then it's got all these markings around it. And your, uh, your interpreter knows how to read a little bit better than you guys because it's part of what he's been doing. And he, he looks at it. I can't read. Yeah, most, so. most of you can. I think no, you I can't can. Read. Yeah. No, Grimur can read like one language. I, or... Reading is a sign of weakness. A man remembers everything that happens and can recite it. Yes. Yes. Grimur Reading so will, weak. Be, will be the death. Will be, will be the death of uh, culture. So, <laughs> you, uh, he says, uh, it's, it's, um, it says it's the first victim. I, his first victim, I, I don't know what that, and Ahmed kind of goes, do you mean the first victim that Ibis killed? So I, I don't know. Is it, what is in Ibris, the jar? Can Ibris. we tell what it is? No, it's a, it's an actual Does it clay. Oh, break does it, it open. Does it slosh? Oh. Does it? There's a little sloshing going on. Mm. Okay. Um, I have some knowledge of uh, Arabic folk stories. Mm -hmm. Do I recognize anything like this from any sort of story? Like this is this is this a storied tradition? Um, is there anything that would reference this, no. or I would have any idea? Uh, do you have a cult or no? I do. Okay, give me a cult roll, and if you do an extreme, extreme, <laughs> Generation X, which I'm a part of, really messed the letter X up for all of us. Yeah. Yeah, no. Okay, not even close. Yeah, so no, you have no real... Can uh, I make an occult check? Sure. Mm -hmm. But again, it'll have to be extreme. extreme. Nope. <laughs> exactly. I think you want occult the other way. Yeah, mm. not good. Would you like to roll your 97? I'm joking. Um, <laughs> let me see what my occult is. Yeah, I, would I have don't to have it. Yeah. Wait, no, there it is. Oh, it's five percent. No. No. <laughs> what would I, I, I can, can like I can progressively try. getting worse. Eighty-seven. Got to roll a one. You can roll a one. No. For for an extreme. <laughs> for an extreme. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I right. have a five percent. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Uh, so. You guys, uh, what do you want to do? You've got this jar. Break it! No! Okay. I want to peek inside What if inside I just it? break it, and then what will you guys do? You could if well, you wanted to. Well, since she has said yeah, that you are. Yeah, I'm going to do you that. You are the largest. I'm going to make everyone react to what I just did. <laughs> break it! Oh! So, you smash Murder race for everyone. <laughs> uh, and this liquid comes flying out, and it's this black kind of harsh liquid and it, it appropriate for the amount of the jar or are we like Sam Raimi territory no no it's not it's not Sam <laughs> Raimi <laughs> I think yeah. it's just like no. shooting out um, <laughs> right. now <It's> like, <laughs> no this black liquid comes out the, the jar is about this big so it's probably a good like you know big gulp okay it's a good big gulp you know, Half gallon. Uh, yeah. It's next to linens and things. <laughs> yeah. Good you thing. smash it, <laughs> and all these this, when the black uh, <laughs> liquid comes out, uh, how are we going to do this? 
Who was holding it when, when you she were. broke it? Oh, oh so I was yeah. holding it. If you, you were, were holding it, I would have tried to. I would have like hit it out of your hand. And then I, I wouldn't have broken on it on somebody floor or something. Mm. I would not have done that. <laughs> she says after I go break it. No, I'm serious. <laughs> I, I thought I thought it was sitting somewhere. Still sitting. Okay, I wouldn't have done that. So I will say heavy. it was sitting down. Okay. Because I'll uh, I'll say you're sitting down because she wouldn't right. have done it on your hand. Um, I'm not stupid. I'm just. <laughs> I don't think you're stupid. I think you're impulsive. Yeah, that's I think what Brenda I said. Totally like. Not stupid. Fuck it. Impulsive break and it. Break it. arrogant. <laughs> so. Totally not the same thing. <laughs> and lactose intolerant, which we don't talk about very often. <laughs> stupid. Vikings invented that too. Yeah. yeah. Vikings invented right. that too. Lactose intolerant. So yes, you absolutely. break it. Um, you were close to it, though. You were breaking it with a sword. Well, no, there's a possibility of, of splash. No, no, I know. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just making sure I want to Was this by sure. uh, Sci-Fi T-Rex as well? No, it's okay. not. Um, so uh, just give me a luck roll, and then I'm going to roll for your interpreter. Uh, easily. Very lucky. I made nice. it by a lot. That's okay, so you're fine. You, hard luck you, see her, you see her coming towards it, and you kind of back up a little bit, just in case. And your interpreter's okay. I have a pretty decent luck, actually. Oh. Which I think is good, because Robbie's not that smart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not um, good luck. Yeah. Uh, alas, Ahmed. As Ahmed <laughs> kind of turns well. to you guys, and oh, this liquid no. is coming oh. down his face, he goes, wow, that... That almost leaped out of that jar like it was living. Oh. Have you seen this sort and of like thing he before? Pulls his, he pulls his hand away and it like like stretch like the, the, the gunk stretches with him because I must like clean. venom. I, I rolled a hundred for him. A hundred. Oh. But all it is is sticky. It's not like for, as far as what we can tell, it's not corrosive. Yeah. Hurt it's, him or anything. It's not melting him or anything. Oh, Have you ever is he able to wipe it off? He's gonna, like he said he has Can to wash. Can I make wash. a natural world check? Sure. Okay. Uh, ooh, ooh, 15, nice. which is Probably not fine. extreme, but it is difficult. Oh, you don't need an extreme for that one. It's not of the next. It's not. Put a check mark. <laughs> we can roll at the end of the game to make that higher. Right. Oh. So a check mark next to wherever it is. Yeah, every time in Call of Cthulhu you uh, <clears throat> succeed at something, you can check off the box next to it, and then at the beginning of the next game, you roll against it, and you can. You have to get above your percentage. You roll your hundred. Right. Get oh, above your right, percentage. Right. Mm -hmm. And then if you do, you roll one ten-sided die and raise it by the right. Raise it by nice. that much. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, it's not corrosive. It's not. It doesn't. You have not heard of anything like this, but it, it smells oily, and and um, you definitely feel like you shouldn't touch it. Mm -hmm. He takes like kind of like tar, but kinda not quite tar. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they, you know, he he starts cleaning himself off. Well, what would be the point in keeping something like this in a jar? I don't. I I don't know. It Has may it, have to do with their cult. Hmm. Has there it, been a string of bad luck or or unnatural occurrences that have happened in the house? Could this be some sort of a hex? Well, like I said, when he joined and started going out. At all times, uh, I don't live here with him. I don't live here with him, so I don't know all of his movements. And so, I hope that this is not his first his first victim. I hope he's not a murderer. Well, how could there's this nothing be? but liquid? There's no. It's yeah. It's there's it, no. Well, how could this it's be? It's liquid, but it's chunky liquid. It's mm. thick. But well, but it's black. It's not like red. It's not what we would recognize. As... Not what you would recognize as. Well, it can't be. It's just some sort of goo. I mean, I guess there could be pieces of someone in there. Yes. But well, well what else is in the area? Okay. Uh, you mean the area or the apartment? The passageway that is we there are anything in. else in that? In that uh, no, this is the only thing that was in there. Um, and it looks like it was recently put in because there's no, nothing sealed tight. So there's always going to be bugs or dust. There's no dust on this, or there wasn't any dust on this, uh, on this vase before. So 
Were there any other jars or just the one jar? Just the one. And like I said, it was it had all the writing on it of being, you know, basically saying that it was the the first victim and, and that kind of thing. So But we don't know if it was his first victim or just the first victim. Right. Okay. Okay. Um well if that's all that's in there, I'd probably look around the rest of the okay. uh, place a little mm -hmm. bit more. Yes. No, nothing. Nothing. It's not appropriate, so I'm going. So You're we're, just letting we're, it go. Yeah. yeah we're, we're we going. all have to do that every once in a while. <laughs> um, so you look around the rest of the, the area, you really search everything, and you, you do come across a letter that basically all it has on it is a time and a location it's uh, basically by the near the docks. It's this uh, place where men will g gather and, and play games, uh, chess, and things like that. Um, and so, is it still in the future? The time? Uh, it no, it has passed. Uh, but it's 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 like two weeks beforehand. So about the same time as when he, went missing. he started having problems. What's this guy's name? The one we're looking for. Uh, Ibris. Ibris. Um, and I'm sorry, I forgot. It doesn't say Ibris's first victim. It just says the first victim. The first it says the first victim. OK. So when was it that your this Ibris went missing? Uh, two days ago. Hmm. Well, do you remember this, this date and time? Um, unfortunately, I wasn't with him. I don't remember that time or date. But you he's like wiping this stuff off. It's all ugh. There's probably yeah. a, a linen over there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's a basin for him to wash in. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, he's washing off. But he goes, no, I, I did not go with him to that place. It's, it's not a proper place for men of our <clears throat> stature or wealth to go. And you didn't know that he was going. No, I, I did not. I do not follow his movements uh, exclusively until I saw that he looked like he was being hurt. And then he just disappeared. Well, it seems like we've gotten all we can get here. We might as well try and find some of these cult members. Mm. Okay. Um, so, you guys, you guys, oh, I'm smart enough. <laughs> you guys go out now at some point um, because this is he he can't be seen with you guys walking around busting heads or looking into this sure that's why he hired you in the first place so after he gets cleaned up uh, he's going to Ahmed's going to go his own way and you know uh, he lets you know where he's going to be if you need to get in touch with him um, and so you guys make it I'll suggest that he goes and sees like a healer or a doctor to make like, sure that he didn't get, you know, infected by something or poisoned right. by yeah. something. Right. Um, so you're walking down one of the thoroughfares and you see... Um, second. Um, Very. quiet. <laughs> um, you're, you're walking down, and uh, this woman approaches you and says, "So, you're, you're new to these lands?" Yes. yes. Yes, we are. Wow, that's that's wonderful. Are you, are you here to trade, or did you? What are you offering? Uh, well, we we have lots of things in our our store. If you'd. Uh, if you'd like to, to take a look at our wares, we have, uh, we have uh, spices and uh, rugs, and we have some things from Europe as well. Uh, we have lots of things. Would you be interested in trading? At, not, not at the moment. Do you need people to come and trade with you? I'm, yes, I mean, of course, we're in business now. I mean... Wouldn't you like to come into the store? 
Mm. Why did you phrase it? Why? Yeah. <laughs> well, yes. Let us take a look at your at your wares. Well, we we do have business, but are we kind of uh, getting? Can wait a few moments. This isn't about trade. Well, make an intelligence roll, everybody. Okay. Some of you might be aware. Some of you might not. I am just one over not being aware. <laughs> I'm one over one. What is that? I'm uh, keenly oh, aware. Oh, so I am not aware. We have oh, we have made it. several rolls, and I should remind you guys as players. Um, now, you can do pushes anytime you want on a skill. On a skill, once you can't re-push it again. The only thing you can't do pushes on is combat. Okay. So. If combat pops up, we have two table pushes from the last <coughs> session that we've been used. Okay. They're grandfathered in, so those can be used on combat, but once they're gone, they're gone. Um, so who made it? Uh, 51 Crit. under 57. Crit. Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. Um, you're definitely getting the vibe that uh, She's trying really hard <clears throat> to get you to go into this place, and it's definitely not for trading. Mm. Um, what her motive is, you don't know, but uh, you have been raiding long enough to know that sometimes people will try to, uh, you know, like they'll have somebody that might not look threatening say, hey, come over here. And then you go there and, and you yeah. can get attacked. So you thought about Jordan Bird. Oh, the bird. I thought it bird, was a yeah. monkey. <laughs> Actually, I think it is a monkey. It's just because we have to keep it so low on the table. Yeah. I can't remember. Um, I was thinking about the camel. Depressed <laughs> <laughs> camel. Depressed uh. camel. Because <laughs> it's tired moment. and it's hot. <laughs> All right. So she goes back to her, her stall in this little. She... Is she wearing a black sash? No, she is not. Okay. Is she clean, like real clean, or is she kind of like... She's pretty clean. Yeah. For no some reason, box. she really wants us to go into that shop, and it's not for trade. Could be an ambush of some That's sort. That's what I am concerned about. She also but what if she information. has information? Well, I mean, it's not like... Let's they go! Can... Just be on the ready. Brog, you'll stride, stride off. It's not like they can take us anyway. True. That's a headstone if I've ever heard one. <laughs> I don't think they, they, they can, can take, take us, us anyway. anyway. <laughs> These people at the book are all weak. Total party wipe. <laughs> White. <laughs> Famous last words. All right. Um, like so, that so and so looked up the elevator shaft to see if the elevator was coming. It was. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you guys walk in. And uh, it's a room about this size. For those of you who can't see the rest it's of this It's about this size, you it's guys. It's about this size. Just, just like this. It's like a big square. If, if you're part of the Patreon, which you can always be part of the Patreon, you would have gotten <laughs> a, a tour, right? They did the tour of the, of the show, and you know exactly what I was talking about. It's about this size. So, But if you could see it, oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow! You don't even know what's behind that camera. It it's is a good size room. Grade it's good. A. It's a good size room. Um, so as you guys walk in, uh, she's got all of these things kind of piled up, and she goes, uh, "Are you guys looking for anything? We have, we have, we do have some weapons." Is there anyone else in here? Not that you can see. No. Give me a spot head and roll. See all of us. Yep. Everybody. I got an 85. More linens and things. <laughs> wow. I got an 8. Jeez. Goodness. Can I, can I see those? I'm <laughs> no, no because, because you know in like two rolls they're going to crap yeah, out. Yeah, they'll go out. Fuck um, you, die. <laughs> so I don't see anybody else here that I would say, let's just cut to it. You obviously want something from us or you want to give us something. It's not about trading. So what is it? Right. That's when she tries to shove a dagger in you. And yeah. I <laughs> slice her face off. Oh man, my answer was, are you looking for something? Yes, this cult with people with black sashes and unkempt hair. Okay, Heard so of them? here's what we're gonna do. This isn't in the rules, but you know. Um, <laughs> but I'm doing it for a very specific reason. Oh snap. You're a warrior. You are not prone to letting your guard down. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, and you kind of we were already, already a little yeah. suspicious. Yeah, I would have had like yeah. or whatever. Hand um, on my very big sword. Mm-hmm. What is your? <laughs> what, not you're broken. a sixty-five <laughs> for your dex. My dex, yes. Okay, I'm starting to memorize the dexes. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, so uh, she will go second because she's not. She doesn't have cat-like reflexes like you do. Uh, Gita, what do you have? Uh, for my dex? Yeah. 72. Holy shnike. I'm nimbly bim fancy. <laughs> nimbly bimbly. That sounds like something David Tennant would have said. <laughs> Timey wimey, <laughs> wibbly wobbly. Li- wibbly wobbly. Um, 55. Probably because I'm old. <laughs> You're old, <laughs> so you have I'm, a 55. I'm 41. Uh, Ingfield yeah, is 41. That's, that's She's old. ancient. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So old. Anyway. Um, what do 80. you have? 80. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Okay. We do this every time, guys. <laughs> but see, I have a terrible I memory, really well. so it's new to me every time. Wow. <laughs> well, okay, so here's Brian my theory. Brian's not smart, but he is quick. I, I, I totally respect people that are able to memorize every single thing about a system and everything else, but I play a lot of systems and there is no way in hell with kids and everything else that I'm going to memorize. Hey, you've every... got the systems down. No one expects you to memorize yeah, people's systems. Yeah, stats. every single little. There are people, though, out there that are like, oh, blah, 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 blah. and yeah. it's like, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> with me. Um, so here's how this goes down, OK? She's going to try to stab you, but you're going to be before her. Your, okay. your, your reaction's a lot quicker. But she's not the only one here. Um, these three other people uh, come crashing out of the piles of crap that is around this stall, and they're going to all try to attack you. Now, they are not as fast as you guys are. And I um, think do you and I made spot hidden checks, right? Yes. Yeah. So you guys would have seen them. The once rustling. The under rustling the <laughs> stuff. So you would have known pretty quickly. So basically. Long oh, here story we go. short, <laughs> nobody's surprised. You guys saw this kind of coming. Um, but they do not look disheveled. They do not have black sausage. So they're they probably do not just like green run of the mill. Mm. Um, so is they're run of the mill thieves. Run of the mill thieves, does, maybe. Does this mean as she attacks me, I basically can thwart mm-hmm. it? No, this means that you can attack faster than she can. So Please, let me tell you what I want to do and okay. see if I can do this. I, I know the drill. <laughs> what I want to do is I imagine she's like coming to stab me. What I want to do is sidestep and like um, basically, let me think about how I'm going to like put it in my brain. So if she's coming at me, I want to kind of sidestep, pull her around and, sl- and slit her throat. So okay. I'm, sh- I'm pushing her around me, slit her throat, and I want to push her into hopefully somebody else. Okay. Who's you can not do on my side. almost all of that. You okay. can almost. slit her throat, make it cool. You won't be able to push her into somebody else. Okay. Um, Next so, time. Mm-hmm. So Watch out. go ahead and give me your, I guess you're using a, I guess your sword. Yeah, my sword. Mm-hmm. Your sword. Really big sword. It's really now, big. Now, I will say but far this. away. Yeah. It's I will say this, the sword might, you might have to use your, you're using her dagger against her, correct? No. I thought you were grabbing her arm, taking it, no, like breaking no, like, it, and cutting like, her Go like hand. you're going to stab me. I know this what she's doing. This is all very important, too. Go, go ahead. like you're going to stab me. She's doing this. Okay. Actually, actually, what I'm doing is I'm going around behind her. Saying. So here, I'm going to show you. Here, so <laughs> she's coming this way, and I'm going to push past ah. her and do this. Ah. So now, okay. She's and much more willing to be weapon. a victim than Jordan is. <laughs> it's true. Jordan hates Jordan's you. Like, Thank you. Thank you. Jordan's God. like, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> um, he, he has to sleep next. Because <laughs> most That's murders true. are committed by a domestic partner. Yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, you know, I love here's, ID. He's, here's a, he's totally here's fine. A fun fact. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, ID is really popular in my house. I'm like, wow, if I go, I know how I'm going to be buried. Um, <laughs> go in your room. I want to watch my murder shows. <laughs> Honey, it's called why, I Married a Murderer. <laughs> why is there this large, uh, this large container here that seems to be able to hold acid in it? Um, oh, that has nothing to do with all the lie in the garage. Don't fine. worry. I wouldn't lie to you. You buy an awful lot of frozen, <laughs> leg, frozen lamb legs these days. <laughs> okay, so here's the issue... <laughs> <laughs> Here's the issue with, with that in particular, and it goes for all of you. You guys are in an enclosed space. So if you're trying to pull out your full sword, 
it's not going to work as well mm -hmm. because you you don't have as much room to swing around. You could do your dagger if you want. I'm I don't have a dagger. We could say I would okay. say you have a dagger. Well, then if I have a dagger, sure I'll do okay. that. Okay. Yeah. No. Because yeah, a dagger would be kind of essential, I think, for everybody, just for eating. Go yeah, ahead and yeah. give me a roll against your sword anyway. We'll just use the same thing. Really? <laughs> I'm, I'm oh. going to, I'm because okay. do it. Yeah. My yep. chances are so high. All right. Oh! oh! I've only rolled 90s and 80s. <laughs> My sword is an 81. <laughs> so that's very Shut upsetting. Switch dice. I know. <laughs> Throw those across the room. They don't usually give me this trouble. Uh, so what's your line once you sell that? Hmm? Well, she just messed up. What would you say <laughs> as her mother? <laughs> like, oh, Birna, come on. <laughs> She's a peasant woman. What are you doing? You know better. She surprised me, Mom. <laughs> Surprise, schmaprise. It's because you're staring at me. <laughs> stop, look, stop watching. You're ruining it. <laughs> okay. She's using a dagger, so her blade skill came up a little short. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's terrible. Classic. <laughs> Puns right. were invented by the Vikings. Please. So <laughs> Puns were invented by the Vikings. You, you go like this and you try to move her, mm -hmm. right? And you did push the roll. And, and you yank her and she moves her arm just enough to get you in right <gasps> in the side. Oh. That was my plan all along. And you oh, feel it just no. pierce through and like... Lull her the false sense so, of security. Cool. Something pops inside. I'll just be oh. more brutal next time. She pissed me off now. It's uh, four points of damage. Ow. Break yeah. your neck, Birna. So, she, uh, so I have just five. so you know, she took four points. Four points yeah. I have five now. Yowcha. Which means I'm so close to dead. But also all right. Aren't we all? Yeah, yeah so close to death. <laughs> From the moment we're born. Uh, um, mm. So <laughs> let's go to the, the, the next would be Broggy because he's at 80. What do you want to do? You, you hear, you see this whole interaction and suddenly people are there. Wasn't as willing to be a victim as I was. I, I grab a... Mm -hmm. um, one of the guys? Or no, no, no. I grab one of the uh, bronze figures. That, okay. are, that are in the stall, right. and I just wail into a wail into a dude. With okay, it. cool. Nice. I don't know what mm. skill I'm brawling. Using just brawling would probably be okay. the right one. I've got that here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, it's fighting brawl. Uh, thirty-five under my fifty-five. So uh, you smack one good. Uh, let's say it's gonna do one d four plus your strength bonus. Okay. Which you do have a strength bonus, correct? Yes. Okay. That is seven. You start to hear something like out in the street. All right. So, um, so you hit him with seven points. Yeah. You smash the front of his face in, and he drops and just kind of. Ah, if you wanted a fight, all you had to do was invite us to a fight, not trick us into your stall. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. They don't know Viking culture. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that brings us to, uh, who was 72 again? You, Me. Gita? Yep. Um, Gita. I said we kind of hear something out, out the yeah. front door. You hear some commotion. All right. Um, I will... See. I'm gonna take a shelf and knock it down to barricade the door, so that like if there if somehow backup is coming or something okay. for these guys, they can't get in the door. Okay, cool. So you you do that. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Um, that's not a problem. That's easy enough. Uh, so I can knock things down. <laughs> that brings. <laughs> knock things. That's a skill. Knocking things down. Yeah, right there. Put a check mark. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. The one that, that attacks you doesn't get another attack because she used her 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 reaction. She's scared. Is really what it is. She's scared. Yeah, now. she's yeah. petrified. So, yeah, I am a very tall. Uh, the one you <laughs> killed one, so there's still three <clears throat> all together. Okay, so there's the one on her, the one you killed, and then there's two others that are kind of. Loose. Uh, the first one's gonna attack you. Can I also have my shield out, like yeah. ready? Okay. Yeah. You you can definitely do that. I hit you with an extreme success, unless you can <laughs> uh -oh. block. Shield. Shield. My shield. Shield. 
Yes, oh. 25 under my 76. Is that an extreme? No, it's a hard. So, but it would the take shield the damage. gets hit. Yeah. Let's see. But it's not it's not extreme. So, <laughs> when this guy hits, he uses his hand and it smashes into your shield and you you just you suddenly realize that there's something wrong with this, like there's there's something amiss, okay? Oh. Is he a wait, wait. blonde haired this blue is a, eyed, this, white dude? No. <laughs> You're like, what? With a glowing hand. We, we've <laughs> got to stop. We've got to stop because the third tier was unlocked, which means the envelopes of fate. Oh. Oh. So here's how this works. You pick one of the envelopes, you hand it to me. It's something good or something bad will happen. Which one? What will it be? Wait, 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 wait. We should ask if the Elder God has a preference on who Oh, it's, it's who James B. Oh, yeah. Unlocked it, yes. but, you know, with everybody okay. else, thank you guys ah, very much. Yes. Thank you all. Thank, thank yes, you all. thank you. But thanks, James B., for hitting this next tier. So, all right. Do you want to mark them one and two and ask the That's, Elder Gods? Uh, yeah, or I was going to say we could all take, like, a secret vote on which one we want to open. Sure, let me mark them one and two, and then we'll, which Elder Gods or you guys want to vote secretly? Does it uh, it'll be faster if we do it. So. Yeah. So, right, um, one so everyone make your decision. One or two. Everyone take a die, <laughs> mark it one or two, cover okay. it up with your hand, and then we'll all reveal. I hope that we're completely even. <laughs> well, I'll be, the, I'll be the deciding vote. In which case, Wes will roll a die. Right. Mm. All right. One, two, three. Two. Two. It's two. 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 So okay. give me two. I voted for one, so y'all did it. It's on you. <laughs> we done it. If y'all did it, it's on you. <laughs> I'm really sorry. It was not the good thing. Oh no! No, no, two, two, two's the one we eliminated. Yeah, we it were was, like oh, no. burn two. We so unfortunately, burn on you. <laughs> <laughs> With the envelope of fate, it happens automatically. All right, this guy throws the punch, and as he's hitting your shield, um, it gives way and hits you straight on in the throat. Ooh, oh, okay. oh, so my, my shield's done. Yeah, did the shield break? The shield break. He, he went through the shield. I meant like the shield became like in pieces of incorporeal. No, no, no. Okay, pieces of wood. Um, so it goes through and it smacks you in the face. And uh, you- the throat or the face? Throat. And you fly back and you're like, uh, right. You take seven Ooh. points of damage. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. This is your fault. <laughs> And Sorry. this is their fall too. <laughs> right then. Uh, I you, have three, Steve. You Steve. notice that. Um, three out of 12. He's got, uh, he's starting to change around him. He's, he's, he's getting bigger. And the other two are as well. And they have all of these like, it looks like worms underneath their skin. Yeah. Kind of going around. Um, now, let me tell you what... Big Bad Warriors and... Anyway. No, 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 I don't want to hear the other one. You don't want, I don't want no, to no, no, I'm not going to tell you what the other one is. Oh, okay. No, that wasn't what I was going to do. Because we save it for future shows. Um, so... All right, so... As this is all happening, uh, you guys suddenly feel really sick. You're, you, this is not... It's one thing to have battle, and you've seen a lot of things, but these... Guys, seen you've seen some things, <laughs> but these guys seem to be made of of these worm creatures. Oogie boogie. Yeah, oh, basically. No. Um, uh, unfortunately, because Pull of it, right? You guys don't get a sand check. You just take the sand hit. Ooh. Now, it's a one d ten. Oh. Everybody takes one d ten worth of sand. Cool. Um, now. Yeah, I know, right? Well, let me read this to make sure I do it right. Okay. Okay. So I will give you guys, because this does suck. I mean, she just took a lot of damage, and you, you have a choice. I can roll one die for everyone, or you each can roll a d10, and that's how much you lose. 
Which way would you like to do it? I'd say just roll across the board. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see. It's Yay! Two. Oh, you got lucky. Wow. So thanks, you guys, again for for unlocking that tier because it's fun. Uh, all right, they're all fun. That one's really fun. So I will not tell you. I want to tell you what. It was the other only one. two points. Of <laughs> two. Wow. I think that really is the one. Oh, I'm sorry. It's only rolling. two points. <laughs> okay. They're just throwing Dirty. them around. I, it's not their fault. There's I'm birds sorry. in here everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Stop pulling west. Stop it. All right. Um, so yeah, you get you get hit. Oof. And you, you get flipped oh. on the back. Yeah, and you've only got three points at this I know. point. Yowie. Uh, so that brings us, let's see, Gita, you were the last one. So you get to go now. Is there any lamps or fire of any sort in Ooh, this like shop? Oh, I like Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was it's, completely, it fire. it's completely against code. It's, you know. So Especially I want to grab whatever, <laughs> like an oil lamp, if they have an oil lamp, and throw it at the wall. It's probably just linen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I believe there's a throw. Okay. Throw. Yeah, there's a throw. Just gonna say oh, throw. Yeah. Oh, my throw's only twenty five percent. Well, are you trying to <coughs> are you trying to throw it at one of the people or just on the ground to at explode? one of the people or around? Are you? Yeah. Well, if it misses him, it's gonna hit the ground. Okay. So either way. We're, we're, we're burning You're things up. You're doing it. Okay. Depends on how much of a jerk Wes is. I know what I would do. No. Oh, <laughs> 36, oh, so no. I miss him. Okay. But it's going to catch something. Because <laughs> isn't this a linen something? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going up like that. <laughs> I don't have fire retardant stuff yet. Uh, no. Not yet. Kind of thing going Vikings will invent that yeah, after this instance. Yeah, 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 because, yeah because of this, actually. Right. Yeah. All right, so mm -hmm. is chat hearing anything weird? Like, are they? Is, like are you guys hum. hearing any hum that chat, you shouldn't hear? Are you going insane from watching this show? Because it's very possible. <laughs> I just that's want to ask Chad if they're like, or if, because there's something wrong with the speaker, and I don't know. There's kind of like a twittering. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, there should be. Go ahead. I'm gonna unplug. Bloop, bloop. Can you can you can you um, mute that? Uh, sure. Which one? All right. Which one is that one off? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, here, let me. It, you, let me just mute everyone for half a second. Everyone start there you go. Okay. It, it's okay. up there now. Let's talk a whole lot right now. <laughs> when no one can hear, we say the funniest thing. <laughs> what? I removed it. All right. So now you'll hear it through this speaker, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, fire, fire. fire. And then the camel. Fire, 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 fire. fire. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he's, really, fire, fire. he's really fire. sad now. Yeah. All All right. Right. I should get out. Is that better? Those camels are smooth. Hopefully that's better. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you threw it and it broke. Let me lower that just a little. Um, you threw it and it broke uh, and set one of the side like walls start to the carpets and stuff start to go up because like I said everything in here is pretty flammable. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that brings us back up to the top which is going to be Bragi because he's at 80. What okay. do you want to do? Um, so let me see the scene. There's one dude laid out on the floor that I, that I took out. There right. is a dude who punched through her shield. Mm -hmm. And started to grow. And started to grow. And then the other two guys are also, or the woman and the other guy are also all wormy and, and right. growing bigger. And then we just set the tent on fire. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's pretty the much it. Pretty boring fire. fight. Yeah. <laughs> really simple. So, and um, the, fire, the fire is starting to get, you know... Spreading south. <laughs> uh, but it's on their side of the tent right now. Right? Yeah, but it's not that big of a tent, so you don't got much time. Okay. What do you want to do? 
Uh, I'm going to cut my way out the other side of the tent. Okay. Um, so quickly start, this way. You start cutting your way out of the tent. <laughs> All right, so that will bring us. That's a nice, nice stroke straight down. You yeah. used a bookshelf to block it, and it's just a like flimsy. <laughs> We're all like, just lift it up. Oh. <laughs> right. So I'm used to this building. <laughs> this land is strange. Well, like I said, the stall is next to a building, and I should have been more clear about that. But yeah. Um, so if you want, um, you can just throw it aside and, and get out. I'm probably strong enough to do that. Okay. So they both are out. Uh, you've got a dagger in you. Um, oh, it's still there? Well, because we're we're going through the combat oh. part okay. of it. Actually, um, before I leave, I would make sure that both of them could get out. Okay. Since okay. they're both currently you, very injured. Yeah, well, and there's... Um, you can grab her and pull her out. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Um, so... Why don't you? Uh, it's your attack. What do you want to do? Well, You've got the blade me. here. Oh, okay. Well, then what I what I want to do is pull it out, take my blade, stab her, and then push her into the fire. Mm. Nice. Okay. That's what I want to do. Because like I'm pissed. Yeah. You You're don't right stab next me. to her, so I'm going to say that's more of a brawling thing than a swinging sword thing. How swing can I make it a swinging sword, sword thing? thing. Yeah. Is that what you want? Is a swing well, yeah. Of course it is. Okay, I'll, I'll let you have it. Go ahead. <laughs> Not that it's going to matter with my... Really? Oh, no, 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 wait. I so read that 58. wrong. It's 58. 58. I did it! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Lily. I did it. I'm oh, a successful Viking. <laughs> I'm a successful Viking. Yes. Um, all right, so you push her into the flames. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to, or try to, I'm going to give her an opportunity to move to the side, basically, and, and avert the flames. I rolled a 15. Okay. So she sidesteps. So Did I not stab her? The worst. How does that work, though? So the I way succeeded. it works is, um, it's a good question. Uh, you're going against... Your role and how successful it was. Mm -hmm. What's your? You've got a ninety whatever, right? A what 90, for my sword? For your sword, eighty-one. So what is the? I don't know. I have. What'd you roll? A fifty-eight. 58. So is a fifty-eight a hard or an extreme success? I don't think it's either one, but I'm not sure. It's so right next to 40. the number. There. I know, but hard I haven't. Half. Half. It's I haven't updated, updated it. Oh. So it's like it forty. So a hard, a hard is half. It probably rounds up, mm -hmm. right? Forty-one. Right. I have no idea. Yeah. So you got a normal success with your attack. Uh huh. Okay. I rolled a fifteen. She got a hard success. So my success is greater than your success. Huh. So that means that uh, you don't do any damage to her because it turns then, mine into a failure, basically. Yeah, basically, it's basically okay. like a dodge or a oh. sidestep or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, Bless you. And so it depends on where you land on that. Um, now, she can only dodge once. So let's say you do this and then Gita comes over mm -hmm. and attacks her. Dodge she, once in a round? Once in a round, okay. yeah. So she can't dodge twice. Mm -hmm. You can come over and, and get her at that point kind of thing. Does okay. that, you know, that's how the each of the things were so we have to know the level of success that's involved it's a little bit more complicated than D, &D but mm -hmm. you know it's been around almost as long mm -hmm. um so yeah she sidesteps okay um all right gita you were helping her out mm -hmm. okay so you guys are outside of the tent um, and so then that brings us, you did your attack, that's her attack. Um, as you, she's going to pull the blade out and try to cut you across the throat. Oh, wait, the blade that was in me? Yeah, she's Did I not say out. I already pulled that out? Yeah, she did. She did. I pulled she it out. Was part of her oh, yeah. okay, you she pulled goes, it out? Uh -huh. Well, she still had hold of it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I misunderstood you. She still had hold of it. Um, so you can push it out with your hand, but she'll, she's still going to have it in her hand. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So she's going to attack you. So I rolled an 89 this time. Mm -hmm. So she completely misses you, right? Um, let's see. Uh, so the other two guys, 
that are in the tent who are still in you're still in or no you're I, cu I cut you cut out, out the other side and you two are out so should be you're just you okay mm -hmm. uh the really strong looking guy is gonna come after you okay now you haven't dodged or anything because you haven't had to because you can dodge this one okay since i rolled above his thing 65 he misses. He got close. He's like, oh, she's a lot taller than I thought. <laughs> wow. Oh. They grow tall. I thought so that was big. just a knife, <laughs> but that's a sword that was really far away. Right? Yeah. Oh, no. Well, yeah. since it's big. I see you've played exactly. knifey spoony before. <laughs> so, and then the second guy's going to attack. Uh, oof. Okay, he, he hit you with a normal success. So you, if you dodge right now, you have to get a, either a normal because ties go to defense. Uh-huh. Or you have to get greater. Than I'm gonna use my shield. Okay. Oh, nice. Ooh, Twenty. Nice. So you under my sixty-four. Yeah. That's a that's a hard a hard success. Okay. Uh, so your shield takes five points of damage. So at this point, smoke is now billowing, and it's starting to burn a lot, and you realize. You, you got to get out of this. I tent. do, but I'm also pissed off at this woman, so I want to. <laughs> I want to use my shield this time and I'm, just. I'm yelling from outside. Bianca, Bianca, and I just want to push her. Now, smoke in the street. All this smoke is like coming out. You're gonna push her. I want to push her into the fire. Okay. Uh, so again, just give me a brawl roll. Sh uh, if it's. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. I swear to God. <laughs> it's a 92. Do you want to use no, the last you are, push? You're garbage dice. You know where you're going? In the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually, where you deserve to be. I actually like those dice. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> we're just shaming them for one. Yeah, for they, one. Just, they just okay. need to know that they we're not know happy boss. with them. That's right. All right. That's right. You're not the boss of me, dice. Anybody mind if I... Go for uh, it. Go for it. Push it. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, four. Four. Fuck you, die! <laughs> That's how you're supposed to behave. I'd like to imagine that with this one, instead of like using the like big surface of my shield, I use the edge and go right for her neck as I shove her into the fire. Okay, that's such a good uh, roll that I'm not going to give her a chance to even try to get a one to. That would be fucked up. Nah. She won. Ah. <laughs> so you push her hard and into the neck and shove her into the fire. And now try to bring out the other side yeah. where he cut the. Tent I do like off and that, I, I want to cut the tent things, but she's inside. I so totally as this. she hits the fire, <laughs> um, <laughs> I wouldn't have let them as she hits, you're all like, uh, as she hits the fire, her skin rapidly uh, singes off, and the worms underneath uh, fall off the bone. She is okay, okay. <laughs> and uh, um, you know, all that's left is the 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 bones uh, and nothing else, and the Worms, you know, fall to the ground. A few of them die, but a few start to, you know, skitter. I mean, slime their way into like, uh, like drainage and stuff like that in the the, the on the street. Um, I stomp on them. You're outside. You're outside. Yeah. They're yeah. inside. Yeah, but they're skittering out into the street, right? No, I mean inside, like the sewer grate that's on the side of the street that they have. They okay. have like little sewer things. Are you mean inside the tent? Inside the tent. Okay. This is stuff you're seeing. Uh, do a do a sand check for me. Oh, because she's so oh, sand. Oh, I got a three. Right. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna use my last reroll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, you're fine. You don't take any any damage. I've seen this before. Bug people. <laughs> um, I know all about you. Do you uh, like the stories? Right. <laughs> like the stories <laughs> about that guy. Has so, a casino. And bugs. <laughs> yeah, and bugs. It's now the other two guys' turn. Okay. So they're going to take their attacks. The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out. We all know. Yeah. You crawl all over your chin and mouth. <laughs> hey, Steven. Will you give me some starbursts? Wow, well, sure. Oh, thank you. Uh, so I rolled a three. Cool. Cool. <laughs> what did uh, you get? Now, he rolled a three I rolled a three. Didn't me. you also? Oh, I did before. Yeah. So that's an extreme success, mm -hmm. but you could roll one or two. I'll roll with my shield. Remember, if you get an extreme success. I did not. <laughs> but I did, I 
did succeed. It just, uh, you know, isn't extreme. So, but you're using your shield, correct? Uh huh. So your shield's going to take the damage okay. for that particular one. Oh, my your shield takes five points. Again. <laughs> Thank you, friend. You're welcome. All right. Uh, so you take the shield takes five points. Okay. Um, all right. So the other guy. My second three. <laughs> oh, no. Somebody out there wants me to die today. Um, <laughs> what's happening? I don't know. Wait a minute. I thought a guy missed. There's two guys in the tent with her. Okay. A guy and missed. The, the second guy's attacking. Uh, All right. Shield. I got a 32 under my 64. Okay. So you block the shield. Oh, you're lucky. The shield only takes one point. Oh. So All right, at it. this point, it's the top of the round. You need to get out. If you stay yeah. there any longer, you're going to pass no, out. No, I was pissed off at her. I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> okay, so... Um, Once she's out... Right. I want to start cutting the... Okay, I've got to get to you guys steaks. in a second anyway, because oh, okay. there's stuff going on outside. Mm -hmm. anyway. All right. So good. Oh, good. <laughs> Everyone's bugs now. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Giant bugs. Just, yeah, big bug. Um, Nick, will you hand me a water? You, uh, you. so you're trying to make your way out of the tent. Regular it's, or do you want like a look right? Oh, this is perfect. Smoky and hard to see what's going on. Um, just give me a, a, a luck roll because it's hard. If you're having trouble. I got an wow. 11. Okay, so no problem. You find... <laughs> you find an opening, you go through, and uh, Fiona is always lucky. You stumble. It's great. You stumble <laughs> into the the street. Now, what's been going on on the outside? Um, you see, remember with combat, everything's really fast. So, as much time as that took, it was we literally it. like a few seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm more reminding chat. Um, so, when you stumble out, you notice that there are uh, bells going off. Um, you know, so people are running with buckets, that kind of thing, um, to try to put out the fire before it gets too out of control. <coughs> the city is made out of marble, so it's, you know, part of the bazaar might go up, but not much else. Um, and as before she came out, can I warn the, is it possible to like shout a warning to the people coming up to the tent? Or do I not have time to say anything? About just I just the, want to tell them that there are parasitic worms. Um, you didn't see the worms either. Oh, I didn't see them well, come out of the you thing. You saw them in earlier in the body. But room, I probably right? wouldn't know that they had escaped though. Right. So right. We only okay. saw them like under the skin right. and you know, who knows. We were already could say outside. there's evil. Evil, evil in there. There's if anyone evil. understood Viking. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> if only you spoke Hobitos. So you, you start, you know, trying, doing these. <laughs> mm -hmm. As I do. Right. <laughs> Three words. <laughs> start <Start's Never> with. Give. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Say again. <laughs> so this, uh, these guys are coming up and they're throwing buckets of water on this lady. And Gita, you notice as you're yelling and kind of doing your thing, uh, there's a dark alleyway not far away, and two of the members with the sashes uh, just come out of the darkness, grab somebody because everyone's running around and pulls them back into the darkness. Hmm. And you don't, you, uh, you can't hear anything because of all the commotion going on in the streets. But I just see them take someone. Right. Um, am I within shouting distance of Nick because we went outside the different sides of the tent? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You okay. guys are all within shouting distance of each other. Um, Cultists just kidnapped someone. They slunk down that alleyway. Slunk. You got to use the word slunk. Right? Yeah. They did. Nice. <laughs> That's what they did. Uh, so. Let's find out where we they must, went. We must pursue. All right. So you guys are, are making your way through. 
Uh, you are hurt. Uh, your throat just oh, like, yeah. like is bad. Uh, what do you want to do? I mean, she, Birna's out of the tent, right? She is, yeah. Yeah, she's out of the tent. Okay, while they're running, I'm cutting the cables to the tent so it'll... Oh, good idea. Okay, okay. cool. So that's not a problem. Uh, you're out. <laughs> that's about all I can do. Limp for fun. Mm. <laughs> Give me a con check. Just roll against your con. Four over my con. Oh. Okay. You are dizzy and your lungs are really full of a lot of smoke because you stayed in there so long. On your next like two or three of things, you're going to be at a disadvantage if, if it's physical. So if you're, okay. you know, whatever. But Can I get to her to stabilize her? Um, she's not really, it's not really thinking you can stabilize. It's just, uh, oh, you the mean for aid. her first aid? Yes. Yeah. For She didn't take damage from smoke though. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? How's a thumb? A 70. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We've a been 74 over my 71. Yeah. yeah. Can so, I push it? No. Well, yeah, of course you can. Push you can push it. any roll you want. Oh, oh no. Oh, my goodness. I stick my thumb in even ah. further because I rolled a 91. Mom, stop. <laughs> that hurt. Hey, wait, wait, it's a thumb. Yo, let me try another ah. thumb. Maybe it's a, a two toe. thumb technique. <laughs> Maybe my big toe. <laughs> Anyone got a stick? <laughs> no. Stick it in the fire. You have to lick, lick the thumbs. Lick <laughs> that's, that's worse. Ow. <laughs> Saliva's in hand. Saliva's a curative. Uh... Yeah, we're helping. <coughs> Haven't you ever seen a dog lick their wounds? <laughs> Stay still while we're helping. Stay still while we're helping. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> So, um, I just want to see something real quick. It'd only be a moment. Now, uh, I also have first aid. Yes. How many hit points do you, you have? You ran left? away. Uh, five. And you have three hit points left? Yeah. Okay. But you are you in an O of T. I did. Are you in an O of T? Love that movie. Okay. We're gonna are you in an OFT? <laughs> <laughs> that made me very happy that you just made that <laughs> My favorite movie. Okay. Oh, God, so, so much candy, I'm so sick. I know. <laughs> yeah, you gotta I be never careful. Eat candy and I'm like, <sighs> well, it's here. It's hard not to. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. Um, speaking of which, can you? <laughs> um, Speaking of candy, can you speed. get a candy drink? Candy drink. Candy drink. <laughs> oh, uh, the Cokes are on the other side. No. Give us <laughs> no. What's so fancy about that, Dr. Pepper? Right? Real. No. Why, why is it like a job? Why does it have a it's it's limited shot? edition? It's West Bain. Oh, okay. Who? Who? I really want to know. Who keeps their cans? Like, like who goes, ooh, limited edition can, I'll drink this and then put it right on a shelf. Or maybe you don't even drink it. I don't know. There who are does? people out there. There are people who do that. Does Collectors. it everyone? No. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. <laughs> don't tell them our secret can I'm just, stash. I'm not trying to shame anyone. It just is such of, a strange thing shamed. to me. <laughs> I don't even do it. I apologize. It's I not so my shamed. intention. There are collector's cereal boxes, too, like people have. And I, you know, I had a hard time getting rid of things as a kid. I would keep my McDonald's bags. I would just throw them in my closet and be like, there, okay. Because I, I always You felt... were just an early college student. That's not a collection. <laughs> you want to well, know? I felt bad. You want to know how nerdy mean. I was? Mm. This is how nerdy I was. Okay. McDonald's how had... How nerdy? <laughs> Sorry. And I was a little kid, and I'm going to betray my age a little bit here, but when I was a little kid and Star Trek The Motion Picture came out, they Oof. had a Star Trek Happy Meal, <laughs> and what I did was I cut out the ships on the Happy Meal and put them on popsicle sticks, and turned the the Happy Meal box into a little theater. Oh my god, I love that so <laughs> much! I've, so, I've been a nerd from the get go. Part of that, <laughs> that story about age is you remember Happy Meals in a box. Yeah, <laughs> which I do too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. when they went to a bag, that pissed me off. Yeah. And I wasn't even eating them at that point. Yeah. Just Some places them. still have the box. Yeah. Uh, they brought the box back. I remember when they got rid of styrofoam and they're like, hey, uh, yeah. we're not killing the earth as much. Yeah. <laughs> the McDLT. Yeah. Oh. Um, that was an abomination. Um, okay. So mine was. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Mine was so, I bought a box of Bill and Ted's Excellent Cereal. What? Which then? <laughs> oh my yes. god! That's <laughs> yes, there was a Bill and Ted's Excellent Cartoon for a while, mm -hmm. and so then they had a tie in Bill that. and Ted's Excellent Cereal that had that came with a box for cassette tapes in the shape of the phone booth with some squinting and imagination, mm -hmm. which I kept for years and years and years and years and years uh, on there. But I had that box of cereal unopened for like eight years. <laughs> so before we'll jump back into the game in one second. But I do have to tell my story because I'm the last old person at the table. Since we're all sharing. Um, I meet Steven for the first time oh God. At, I apologize for at a saving throws <laughs> meeting. We're all sitting around and I made some old person comment and he looks at me and goes, wow, that is old. That's, that is not what happened. You, totally, said 20, you said you were like 26 when Pokemon came out. Right. And, you were, and he gasped and then looked at me and pointed <gasps> and said, wow, that is really old. <laughs> totally what happened. Steven. Totally. Gasped. <laughs> Turn you away. He turned white. He pointed. He, <laughs> no, like, he didn't even gasp. He, just, <laughs> he started yelling at me. He said I should have been sent to the carousel. It was all <laughs> terrible. I hope that was Renew, renew, renew. He made the Donald, the Donald Sutherland uh, <laughs> body snatchers noise. <laughs> So I felt like I was like 102, and it's the first thing he said to me, too. It's like, hi, I'm Steven. You're fucking old. <laughs> and we're still best friends to this day. Hi, Megan. How you doing? Here. Good. So anyway, back to death. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah. um, you were helping her with your thumbs. Uh, <laughs> Loosely helping. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Loose definition of that. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Um, she doesn't cause any more damage, but she, she just doesn't help. I can't breathe. You're making it harder to breathe. She's standing on your chest. Why, why is that? I'm pressing the smoke <laughs> in your lungs. No. I mean, no, no, that works. It's the worst massage ever. <laughs> okay. um, so while you guys are doing this, you are making your way through the uh, through the crowd through the crowd, yeah. and uh, you come to the entrance of the alleyway. Uh, and you, you see, there! I want to talk to you. Wait. You see a couple of men, and they're of they're, they're doing something. Language, but, you know, whatever. But we're yelling at you. Uh, let me see if they notice, like, because, like I said, it's pretty loud. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff going on. Especially now that there's a fire. Beep, 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 uh, so, okay, no, they don't. They don't seem to notice you guys at the edge of the alleyway. Okay. So, do you want to run up to them or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Let's as you're approaching. Check. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you just attack them outright, or do you grab them and throw them against a wall? Well, or what, what's as, the as, deal? I, as I run to the end of the alleyway and I and I see them, you said they grabbed a person, right? So what what do I see in front of me as I come to the alleyway? Um, they seem to be uh, doing something to this guy. You're not sure what, but they're they're like they're cutting into him, and uh, uh, they're not killing him outright. Like you know, it's not like a like this, they one of them have, has them on the ground. They look like they um, are holding them down and doing some kind of weird cutting. Like they're cutting in places that aren't aren't going to kill him. And uh, he's a bit older, so he's they're turning into an emo. Let's go. He's not. Yeah. He's not. You know, able to move around, uh, and uh, he doesn't. They. It looks like they made a cut somewhere that is zapping his energy. Okay. Uh, so I run in and gore one with my spear. Okay. Okay. So give me a attack roll. I will. Uh, that is a success. Okay, cool. Um, they don't know you're coming, so they don't get a dodge. So do your damage. Do your damage. Do you want to attack the other one? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to say, we need one alive. Okay, I'll uh, so use... Don't fuck him up too much. Yeah, we need, yeah. The, we need the question one. Shield Maiden seemed to kill more than the others. 
Sometimes oh yeah. Shield is hard. So uh, maybe shield bash to like knock him down. You can do that if you want. All right. Uh, Twenty nine. So yeah, I make. It. Okay. Because I'm being so careful not to impale the uh, man who they've grabbed, uh, I only do three points of damage. <laughs> okay. And I do two. Two? Two points of damage. Okay, is right? that what Because I have a D3, so if I roll a five. Yeah, that's... that's or is that Do you have a bonus, three? damage bonus? No. No, okay. not for shield So bash. we'll say two, but not enough to kill, enough to like startle and like, oh shit. Um, and like if he's down on the ground, like pinning him down with my shield. Uh, okay. Um, so... I need D3. Right, because yeah. if it's a D3, yeah. it would be three yeah. points, because it's... They actually have yeah. D3 yeah. dice. They have a whole set of, like, weird dice that have, like, D7s and stuff. I always wanted to go, like, <clears throat> you talk to the, like, I designed this game with a D3. Well, that... <laughs> meant to... <laughs> um, Damn it. You just right. put a chart in there. I mean, even uh, Edge of the Empire has a chart that you can use regular dice. Yeah, for. yeah. Um, let's see. So... You're at 80, and you're at 72, and these guys are not. Um, so then that brings us to their attacks. Uh, the one that you're pinning down is going to try to, like, move you. Yeah, he so can make try. a strength roll. Can he could try. try. Let's see. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, well, Ooh. I got a nine. I got a nine. I got a ninety. <laughs> Extreme. Extreme. All right. So yeah, no, you've got to pin down. So hard. Um, the one that's he's gonna next leave to an you, imprint in the, the sidewalk. The knife that he was using, he's just gonna try to hit you in the chest. Well, you have a spear. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, so he's gonna try to use his elbow, I guess, to break the spear. Or move yeah. it aside or something. Or move it aside or something. Without the leverage, there's no way he's... I mean, unless yeah, there's no way. Weird, he's yeah. not going to break it. No, he doesn't. Okay, so you've got you've got <coughs> them both pinned down. Um, and the, the man kind of sits up and goes, Thank you. I, they, they cut me on the, on, the, on the back and I couldn't move. Thank you so much. And then there's the worm. He goes, uh, I, I can't repay you enough. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, and he, he kind of rubs his face a little bit and, and st staggers off to the side of the alleyway and sits down. You can tell there's a lot of blood coming out. Um, so we'll get back to you guys in a, in a moment. So, um, you two. Uh, she has done applying thumbs. <laughs> thumbs. What do you two... What would you guys like to do? You notice that they had run off into the crowd. You saw where and they we're went. We're both pretty weak. You're both pretty. What weak. else is happening around us? I mean, um, there are people who are helping with the fire, and there are people who are hysterical. Um, and give me a, I guess, a, give me a general spot hidden, and I'll tell you the level of different things that you see. I do not spot hidden. Oh, Ooh, I rolled a five. Okay. Um, that's an extreme. Extreme. <laughs> it's funny. Um, so you're noticing that there are certain people who are appearing to uh, fight the fire, but they're really not. Like they're they're throwing the water poorly somewhere else, or they're <gasps> letting it dropping burn. it or whatever. What right? jerks? And no, actually, we want it to burn. Or idiots. That well, it's, we know the, what the problem is, is it's spreading. Oh. Because there are other stalls in the bazaar. It's like the marketplace is about to yeah. go up. And the smoke and the soot and everything else that's kind of coming up, it's it's really nauseous. Not, not nauseous. 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 Um, so you, you see that there are a few, you guys notice that there are a few people who are not helping. Is there a thing? Oh, no. I just it. Go ahead. Uh, what do you guys want to do? You can go to the alleyway, or uh, well, you can... Well, uh, yeah, we'd probably... I mean, I would yeah. probably follow them. If there's nobody to fight or anything, I don't know. Right. You yeah. just notice this particular thing. Like, there seems to be quite a few people. Yeah, but there's nothing we can do about it right at this moment. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, you go to the alleyway, 
and uh, Gita has someone pinned behind a shield, and Bragi has someone pinned down with a spear. And uh, both of them are armed, but they're they're uh, they're unable to move, so they're they can't really well, attack. I'll just and there's the injured man. The injured man who's on the side, and he's kind of just sitting there. <laughs> I'll come over with my sword drawn and go, <laughs> do you all need help? That man was attacked by the cultists. He's injured. Oh. We, we save these ones for questioning. Do you want to apply thumbs? I want to try and apply <laughs> thumbs to this man. <laughs> yes. 45, I lay thumbs very well. Nice. So Better you, thumbs. She lays on thumbs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, so you, you stabilize him, all right? And uh, he, you know, he thanks you. Uh, what else, what do you guys want to ask these guys? What's the next, what's the plan with this situation here? Well, I assume we're asking them about the cult. So we'd be like, what, yeah. what cult, what are you a part of? Yes. It's too late already. Oh, wait. Here's the question. Where is the translator? I, I'll say the translator followed you guys. He's um, probably like, oh, oh, God. I'm here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You people. Well, he is a Viking too. It's yeah. not. Oh, well, then yeah. he would be like, yes, of course, I'm here. <laughs> Translating. Harumph. Harumph. I didn't get Harumph out of that guy. Um, Governor Harumph. So he goes, uh, he goes I, I don't. <clears throat> give me an intimidation roll. I just want to see. Yeah, because I'm, I'm nice. It's the only way that you're going to get information out of these guys. Get them. Nope. Oh. Do you want to push it? You're all like, I guess we're going to push it. <laughs> yeah. It, it, Hold on. It's uh, 35. Oh, right. I'm yeah, I'm just like, <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> this is scary. You're scared. <coughs> Luckily, the age to get into AARP was a lot lower during the Viking age. All right. Yeah, 25. 25. <laughs> So uh, we invented, you know, the Vikings invented ARP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, they're not responding to you guys. They're they're being quiet. Well, then what what happens if we cut their arm <laughs> all the way off? All the way off. <laughs> I was more thinking just like a slice, <laughs> but you know, Peter wants to go all the way. You realize yeah. that once I'm done cutting off this arm, it's gone forever, buddy. <laughs> you can't grow it back. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. We don't do things half fast here. <laughs> no. And if it does grow back for some reason, we'll cut it off again. <laughs> and then probably kill you. And, yeah, yeah. Well, because well, that's, that's weird. Cutting off of the arm is going to kill them more than likely. And, you know, it's, it's the time Probably period. so. We could blood wing him. <laughs> you know, we haven't had a good blood winging yet in, in a the while. Kid, so. Yeah, if they don't respond to my <laughs> coughing, then I would probably be like, well, maybe you'll respond to pain. Just, you know. Okay. Um... <laughs> So That's how Vikings cut. butter knife. Yeah. <laughs> so you slice it in yeah. one of them. I have cut myself with a butter knife before. Oh, ow. That's, that's, it's a serrated blade. Yeah, you, know, you yeah, cut yourself it is. just right. Yeah. You can make it. nasty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very skilled. It is a So knife. I tell you what. <laughs> now that you're applying a tool, <laughs> now that you're applying a tool to the situation, I'll give you an advantage die to your intimidation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I, oh, 50. 50 right? Still not yeah. good enough. I was okay. like, wait, <laughs> I got really confused because that was a zero. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, he says something in, uh, uh, and when you look at your translator, translator mm -hmm. has no idea what he says. And then he takes the blade and shoves it right here up into his head and he, you know, cuts the artery and all this blood comes out and he just, he falls over. Admirable. And then the second guy you're pushing down on, you see that he's starting to try to do the same thing. Mm. Grab <laughs> okay. his hand. Give me a brawl roll. <coughs> uh, unarmed. Oh, okay. Give me a brawl. Uh, all right. Success, 49. Cool. Yeah, okay, so you, you're grabbing his hand and he's pushing the blade towards his throat like this. So it's gonna be a strength thing, okay? okay? He's only got a 50 strength, all right? 68. All right, 
Or your shield name. Gida. Gida. <laughs> Gida. <laughs> no more shield. It is useless to resist Gida. <laughs> What is that from Futurama? Snoo 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 oh, Snoo. Yeah. The body death is death by Snoo Snoo. <laughs> the brain is willing, but the body is, is <laughs> bruised, bruised and spongy. spongy. <laughs> so uh, give me a roll against your strength. Uh, is that so just regular? Yeah, that's just a straight up. 58. Eight. So you've got a normal success. Yep. Oh, so he's, uh, I rolled a failure. So you've got, he, you've got him. Okay. Pinned, yeah. Uh, do you, one of you guys want to knock away the blade or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cause I don't have intimidate. So I'll just knock away the blade. Be helpful that way. Okay. Um, uh, you start, as I said, at first there's, there's a lot of screaming going on, um, uh, back there uh, because of the fire but then it's there's you start hearing more like uh, guttural sounding yells stuff that's more I don't know Doesn't supernatural like normal people no yeah it's, <clears throat> is it polypus <laughs> <laughs> we encountered a polyp like thing oh yeah. <laughs> lovely So it sounds like, let's see if I can get this loud enough. Uh, maybe if I do this, we Stuff like that, like these really deep growls, right? He could hear it. That's not oh, cool. Cool, cool. Um, so uh, you knock this thing out of its hand, and uh, the guy that you stabilize, gets up, and uh, I feel a, an urge to, to leave, to go, to, to go s somewhere to see, to see the, the, the goddess. Well, definitely don't do that by yourself. Oh, maybe you should do what, that. What got us? This is the injured guy. Yeah. This is the guy yeah. that you guys saved. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't know. It's. It's my head. Oh. Well, you should go. Your head will feel better if you go to this goddess. But not by yourself. He I mean, doesn't it, believe in goddesses. Is it Aina? He does. If I'm uh, gonna pull everybody aside and say, if he leads us somewhere, we can follow him. No, I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh right. I'm sorry. I have to see if I'm smart enough to have thought of that. <laughs> but she just explained it, so I go, oh, yeah, sure, that's great. Um, I take the guy's knife, and the one that she's got pinned down, and um, I say, he may not want to die, but he wouldn't want to live without certain things, and I put the knife up to his balls. Okay. And I say, I say what's going on? Um. Or he may not care about death, but he'll care about this. Mm -hmm. Give me an intimidate with a uh, with a <laughs> advantage though because okay. you're with something extra. <laughs> <laughs> That's fifteen, right? Okay. Yeah. So I'm about to give him a rocky. Ooh, muscle. a ten oh. under my fifteen. Oh, oh. oh that's a nice. I am nice. very happy. That. All right. I'm sure as you're doing this, you turn to your die and go, "This is how you intimidate." <laughs> 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 um, I don't so, only care for one thing. <laughs> and he really starts fit. speaking very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> really quickly. Will you stop? Sorry. Uh, just really quickly. <laughs> and uh, uh, the interpreter's like trying to keep up. Um, and he says uh, something about a temple underneath the dock area where they're going to be doing a, a sacrifice soon. What kind of sacrifice? Uh, to their to their god and uh, uh, something about being a a a god of of life or something I can't follow it. Why were you injuring this man? Uh, um, at this point, he just like he doesn't. He's like incoherent. Yeah, he's incoherent. He's like <laughs> ah, I'm screaming. Okay, well, that's all we're gonna get out of him. Okay, uh, so do you? What do you do? 
Mm -hmm. You kill him? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you guys kill him. Do you want to let this guy go and follow him? Yeah. I okay. Mean, that seemingly is the way we're going to get there. I mean, can we accompany him? Like, well, he's not our... I didn't the know... The guy that was injured's not our enemy, right? Right. I didn't no, know he would go... No, we're accompanying him. If we were, I didn't know how it worked, so I didn't know yeah, if he would go if we were with him. He's he's not one of them, so he has an urge to go yep. to a place. Right. But he doesn't know why. But he doesn't or... know why. So, yeah, you could follow behind him and just kind of get there and, and right. know where to go. I wasn't go. sure okay. if we were like, well, come with you, if you'd be like, oh, they're just... Gone. I don't know. I don't okay. know how this goddess if works. like mess with the enchantment or something yeah. like that. Right, yeah. exactly. But either way. Okay. I'm just checking to make sure that my daughter has not. I already checked. Oh, you already checked? Okay, yeah, go. She's fine. All right. Um, you didn't finish, has not. What would Burnt down the house. Down the house. <laughs> As, As they do. do. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Dad, it was one time. You're never going to let me live it down. Gosh. Tell you how edgy our kids are. Veronica, who's 14, emailed, uh, said, Oh, can we have ice cream? Now, when I was 14, <laughs> you just that eat the yeah, I would ice just cream. Eat this. Don't watch this, honey. <laughs> Don't watch no, this. No, I remember when she asked if they could watch that one show. Thing. Yeah. Right, cartoon. Yeah. So she's very conscious about stuff. It's well, funny. she knows that we are entrusting her with yes. responsibility. She's very good about she's that. She's doing good. If it was Alan, if it was Switch, oh. the ice cream would be gone. <laughs> the place would be on fire. Um, so you guys start following this guy through the the thing, and you're noticing that there is a riot kind of building up throughout the city with this fire going on. Um, people are uh, attacking each other, uh, and suddenly you feel very, very uh, actually worried, frightened uh, about what's going on, because you realize that even though you're all very strong warriors, you're way over matched here. Like, you're, there's, there's too many of them. They'll, they'll it doesn't matter how strong you are, you can't fight a riot. Right. Right. Correct. And it's this kind of, you know, moving uh, mass of people. And some of them you're noticing are not necessarily living. Mm. Uh, some of them look like they've obviously been killed recently. And <coughs> this worm infestation <sighs> has taken over. Some of them are alive. And they are um, uh, attacking, so you're, you're figuring that they are either taking advantage of the situation or they are with the cult, okay? Um, they don't seem concerned with the guy out in front, right, um, for some reason. The old man? <clears throat> the old man that's injured. They, they seem to just part ways for him. You guys, on the other hand, um, some of these things are starting to come towards you. Uh, so what I need to know is, like I said, you're in the streets. All of this stuff is happening around. How do you want to deal with it? Um, I will try to stay as close as possible to the old man. Okay. Yeah. Are they, I mean... Are they just kind of running around hitting whatever is nearby, like attacking or are they whatever's attacking nearby? Us specifically? Yeah, or are they zeroing in they on us? They seem to be zeroing in on you. I want to make uh, the groaning noises and the shamblingness and the whatever to try and blend in. Okay. With All right. The, with the folks. All right. Um, <laughs> now, on some of the old, on some of the character sheets, there's disguise. I know this isn't that, but it'd be fun to see it's if it's not on a Viking here. sheet. I it's don't think not. it is. Okay. Um, so you, you start groaning and, and acting like some of the other dead ones that you can see. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Megan. What did you say Persuade? you were going to do? Persuade. I haven't yet, okay. but I do have a thought. Okay. Um, since we're all shield maidens, I thought mm -hmm. maybe we could sort of like, yeah, back to back. Okay. Uh, with our shields. Yeah. So the, like, a like a, like a yeah. mm -hmm. unit going down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so the four of you kind of line up. 
and you put your shields together and you start to go. Um, and then, uh, um, oh, okay, cool. That's fine. For subscriptions, we'll do it. Yeah, okay. we're working it. We're working out all the different things. So we got a subscription. Who's subscribed? Uh, that would be Turk. Turk. Uh, Heretic thir Heretic twelve. Heretic twelve. Thank Heretic you for subscribing. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and with uh, this, you get a reroll. Ooh. I do. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So because Shoot. he said reroll, it's not a push. So if you oh. reroll. It's okay. a re-roll. It's not something horrible happens. Okay. Thank so. you very much. Thank you for nice. subscribing. Oh, um, I forgot. I don't have a shield anymore. Oh, you yeah. don't? Do you have a shield or do yeah. you just have a... Yeah, okay. I'll give you my shield. So, um, they're like this. The three of them are kind of going like this. Are you right behind them? Kind of doing the... Like, protecting the back? or? Um, so, my pretending to be... One of these people, they weren't buying it? They don't seem to buy it, no. Okay. You have a um, spear, though, right? Yeah. So you could be, Give them like, if, like, the old man is right here, and then, you know, the three of us are like this. He turns you to you and goes, like, I'm only 32. Using your, using your spear to, like, get people from, poke, like, poke over people us, off. you know? Yeah. Classic yeah. Roman attack <laughs> formation. Exactly. <Yeah. laughs> You mean Viking attack formation. Right, Roman we invented stole it. that. Yeah, right. They stole it. They went in time forward mm -hmm. yes. and said, hey, these guys, they know what they're doing. Yep. And then they went back. And they were like, we're stealing that. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many things Doctor Who has changed over time that we never knew about. <laughs> it's worry. It's not that many. It's the fixed points. The fixed right. points keep it on track. Fixed Poor points. Rory. Poor Rory. All right, so you guys are going down the street and um, the people around you start to come in, in closer. Now, here's the deal. This is my question for you. You can either, you're still in a position where you can book it, like just run, right? Which I know might not seem like the Viking way, but um, that's the position you're in. Vikings, or, Vikings retreat. Yeah, you can retreat or you can try to fight, but this is the, the moment that you have to decide which one you're gonna do. I say we break for it. It would be yeah. quite glorious if we fought all of them off, right? <laughs> I mean, they're not. Saying. It would be a great they're not. story. It would be a great story. <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if we lived, but you we also have to know won't. when it's true. It's time and to And if we die, retreat. we will go to Valhalla, dying in battle. It's true, but, but who, who will remember our tales in this land right, where no one There will be no one to language. tell such a story. Very true. And um, we do the, I think the Valkyries you're not... might not even know where you're at. Yeah. Someone died. Where the fuck are they? <laughs> <laughs> can, uh, can Birna pick up the Valk man single. so that yes. we can take him with us? Very yes. easy. I mean, you're like super... She's a mountain. <laughs> yeah. She is well, a Really, mountain. I'm strong more than anything else. I'm tall, you're but just, I'm strapped. You're, you're the man. You're, the, ma you're the man. Well, my form. my uh, size is only seventy five. It's my strength. That's still only. Oh, yeah. pretty only. I'm but that's still, like I'm seventy five, but I'm. Do you know Grimuard is sixty five? He's tall and skinny. I guess so. He's like a bag of bones. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> you're stacked. Yes. <laughs> this way and this way. Slab but it's all muscle. muscle. Yes. So uh, if you pick up the man, maybe toss your shield over here so that we can like. Get yeah. information around you while we all kind of like retreat with the old man. Yeah. Because yeah. they seem to want him to go somewhere and they were talking about a sacrifice and I don't right. want to let that yeah. happen. Yeah. Well, at this point, I mean, unless I something. He's not the sacrifice. He was a target of opportunity. Yeah. Maybe. There's something bigger going down there. He is just, risk he's it. a new recruit. There's, we're going to find a worm <laughs> still have his back. Probably. Um, Probably. I got features in my ear. Yeah. Um, Sorry, as I meta for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> ah, meta. Um, so yeah, the only way that, like I said, right now there seems to be quite a bit coming towards you guys. So you're gonna break. <coughs> now, here's the question. Running with shields is gonna be hard. Why? That'd be hard. I mean, you have just a lot like, of people around you. But you push into them. And they're, you're just pushing them out of the way? Mm -hmm. like yeah, that would be like my cow catcher. Like knocking them like this, side this. to side. I mean, like a cow catcher. I don't feel like the shields would stop us any more than just running through a crowd yeah, going to stop We're just basically us. being would be my guess. Yeah, okay. That'd be my guess. All right, so... Um, 
We're yeah. trained for this. Yeah. We're like, <laughs> So you guys are yes. going for one of the <laughs> alleyways <laughs> that's nearby, <laughs> and you're going to try to break, and then we're, um, is it just getting away from this mass of people, or are you going to climb up one of the buildings and try to keep? Well, mm. that one guy said a location, right? He is did. under the city? He said is under the docks. Under the docks. Under the docks. Under the docks. So I assume that's the direction we're headed already. Yeah. yeah. I, my my assumption is we would continue to head there. I guess. Okay, cool. But but just get out of the crush of people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you're wondering what I constantly look at, it's time, because I have to always like look at time and go. Okay, I know where we are, and we have to keep time going because mm -hmm. I keep doing this. So uh -huh. I want you to know why. You can go that way too. That's true, but then it's all the way up. Oh. All the way. <laughs> you don't yeah. like it. Whatever. <laughs> All right. By the time I look over there and look yeah, back, the time might have terrible. changed. But if I look at the time right here, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we all know that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. So um, let's see. How are we going to do this? Because you're all going to go through. Yeah. So you're fight. You're you're basically pushing your way through. You're not running, so it's not a dex check as much. You're just kind of pushing your way to try to avoid getting into a fight. Um, and just strength to muscle our way through. I think mm -hmm. so. Everybody give me a strength. Least resistance where yeah, we find if you it. guys, if you guys, yeah, Brenda, you're not. Gonna I play. got a seven you're under just, my ninety. You're just like popping. You're just like kicking <laughs> I got people's heads. Eighteen heads. under my sixty-five. On the fire. <laughs> I got, I got a hard. Oh, okay. Just regular sixty-three under sixty. So everybody did okay. I got a hard. All right. So oh, nice. um, you Voltron your way through. Oh. Crunch. Um, and you make it into the alleyway, okay? Uh, what's the, are you gonna, it, you're gonna go over the buildings because there's a lot of people in the streets, or are you gonna try to stay in the buildings and keep kind of muscling your way through? The path of least resistance, resistance. is okay. what I think we'll do. Um, that's probably gonna be up on the, the tops of the roofs. Uh, so you guys are, you guys see uh, this, dock area and down by it the the place is just like kind of right. swarming with both what looks to be normal people and then the these kind of dead things that are they're <clears throat> the not like the ghouls people. yeah they're 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 not like the ghouls um caterpillar people everybody <laughs> make me a uh, first a spot hidden roll okay Yay, I finally did it! Oh, I don't see Not anything. Me. I got a 10 under my... Uh, I got a hard success. Okay, cool. Uh, I got a hard success as well. Actually, I think I got an extreme success. 40. What's, your, what's your... 42. Uh, so you got so 21, so 11. 11 yeah, yeah, I did. So what about you? I, I don't see No, anything. it's only like 8. So do you guys did not. It's only it was 20%. twenty percent. I guess it would be ten. Even. It's not. It's not quarter. It's twenty percent. Not. Oh. 25%. Oh, oh, oh. It's not yeah. half. And then it's I a thought that it was okay. Yeah. yeah no. I can't yeah. I'm doing math wrong. Yeah. <laughs> math hard. <laughs> I flunked out of college math. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> um. So. You're looking down at the like near the dock area, and you've. Uh, Every so often there are wells, just these uh, wells where people can go up and get, you know, water. And next to one of the wells is a... Are they well actually? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, is a few people that have collapsed and the well water is kind of spilt out. And you see some of these worm things inside the well water. Oh, so they've infected a lot of people. Right, they've they've been using the well water to infect a lot of people. So, so it's not so well water. No. Mm -mm. Um, now, <laughs> just let it go. Let it slide. <laughs> I like it. Look, I have a lot of these on my bucket list. <laughs> That's fine. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Winch, it. you're all gonna hear about. It. Oh, <laughs> fireman does. All right. Okay, so here's how, here's the setup, okay? You are on, you know, the buildings only go two stories at most. They're not very high up. 
there are more and more people that are going into the streets. There is, when you're looking at the dock area, you see the area that you think might be uh, where you need to get to to get underneath this place, right? What? I'm just seeing if I realize, if Bragi realized something that I realized. Okay. And uh, no or yes? No. Okay. <laughs> no. That's so oblivious. <laughs> so you have this one building and then uh, a few feet away, like, you know, four feet away because there's these alleyways between, is the next building. And then you have to go down back into the mass and try to get across the area to where you're seeing the old man walking towards, okay? Um, so first you have to make a jump across. Okay, so everybody needs to, and below you see people. Um, mm. So if you don't make the jump, you're gonna end up in people below. Rut roll. Rut roll, Wow, oh. Ooh, that's awesome. Made it, barely. I was like, I really was like, Jump! I think you want to push that. I think I got a 90. Uh, I got a actually, I have a reroll, right? Yeah. Oh, you do? Where'd yes, you do. Because oh, of my new subscriber. Yeah. You're stealing. I stole it for the diagram. <laughs> <laughs> so you say, uh, nope. Wait, oh. are we using the jump skill or am I using strength? You're using jump. Okay, then jump. Oh, Ooh. so now I can really? push it though, yeah. right? Okay. You're using jump. Now I'm pushing it. Okay, you can push it now, yeah. Push it. Oh, we're using jump. No. You're using yeah. jump. Not just dex. No. Well, no. I would have made I it. Made it. it. Uh -huh. I got a four. Yeah. You and I, okay. I would have made my dex, but not my jump. Yeah. We're like going backwards. I'm pushing like, it, yeah. and something horrible is about to happen. All right, yeah. let's see what horrible happens. Oh, yes. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. 98. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. bad. If it was my dex, I would have made it. I know, that's it's where I'm jump, I'm, I <laughs> okay. Make it. okay. You guys are Vikings. Vikings are not known for the jumping skills. Except for us! Yeah, apparently. So here's what happens. You guys run. We got hops. All <laughs> four of you jump like in a, a cop movie, because mm -hmm. Vikings invented cop movies. Yep. And Fast. they sail over, and you guys go, F -f 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 and start to go down. Now, you... Just miss it and fall down, and uh, you take. Uh, Maybe get an awning. There's no awning. <laughs> no, Aww. give her a luck roll. Grab <laughs> the <laughs> edge. <laughs> okay, fine. Because then give her a luck roll. You're She's not got getting three hit points. <laughs> I made it. Oh. All right. So, she, like, uh, so, grabs the <laughs> so you hit the awning. Um, I'll pull her up like this. I'm gonna say you take mm -hmm. one point. Okay. And uh, as as Broggy desperately tries to keep everyone alive, <laughs> I have two points um, left. So you hit the I side. Don't, I don't want the regulars to come back to the show and have like. <laughs> you know <laughs> what? Nobody. We were talking. To, we were talking about that in particular. With the that's kind of why we took away some of the stuff is because there's a little bit more leth a lot more lethality with the game. So. She might come back as someone, one of the other ten. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> um, we're down so, to like seven of those guys. Yeah. Unless yeah. more died last week. I yes. think we're I down to about did. five. Yeah. Five, yeah. So you hit the wall, bam, Oof. and slide down. Yeah. Ouch. Okay. Ouch. Just, yep, yep. Just scraping what? your face as you go. <laughs> you take, Not in the face. <laughs> you take four points. All right. Ouch. How you Steve, doing? I'm down to eight. Okay. Out of 12. Yeah. Um, so you guys land on the top and you look down and they're at the bottom and these on the, on both sides, the, uh, the people are starting to come in towards them. What do you guys want to do? Is there a clothesline or something up here? Like, or like draped on the side of the building that I could quickly like throw down? <laughs> um, Don't ask, just declare. <laughs> I see the clothesline. <laughs> Would we not have rope or something maybe? Mm. Uh, yeah, I would imagine that. Well, you guys don't, you're not like kitted out like D&D &D characters. You don't yeah. have But we're like, out. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe not in town. Maybe we just have it on the boat. But I would think we'd travel with You have rope, but things. I don't think you'd be carrying it into town. Like, yeah. Or have it like accessible. The clothesline would be reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Like some kind yeah. of like something. 
Um, yeah. So you guys, well, and plus there's there's ways for you to kind of shimmy down the the side. It's not like it's it's not that I, tall. I think you're trying to figure out a way to, to pull them up. up. Okay. Um, yeah. So you could get like a clothesline, or or maybe there's. Uh, linens or things. Yeah, linens mm. and things. I imagine <laughs> when I think about it, I think about like the, you know, some, you know, a big piece of cloth going between the buildings right, kind yeah. of thing. So we'll, we'll say Because it's like that. the bazaar, right? right. So yeah, like, there so like be... all these clotheslines. I, yeah. I picture like Aladdin. You know, okay, yeah, we can do that. So um, uh, they're coming towards you guys relatively quickly in one of these banner things flies down. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, climb, start climbing. Climb. climb, climb, climb. Now, I believe you guys have climb. Yes, we um, can yep. I tie it around my waist? And get pulled up? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll help as much as I can with it. Yeah, but, yeah. but you've only got a few I points. can yeah. pull you up, <laughs> right? <laughs> with one hand. Yeah, I'm just like, I just do this, and you just like go flying <laughs> the roof. I'm sorry, mother. <laughs> Too hard. I didn't mean to. I don't know my own strength. Like you're, you know how they do tuna fishing, where they yeah. <laughs> and are you gonna climb up, or are you? I guess I'm gonna try and climb up. All right. Um, what's I'm your climb? To you. Uh, thirty-five. Mm -hmm. Uh, thirty-five. So I'll give you a, an advantage die because you do have people helping you out. Okay. And. Uh, if you want to give me a strength roll, sure. we can add some like ten extra points to his thing. Nope. Wow. Can uh, I push 18. that? Eighteen. You. Eighteen. Oh, you're fine. Push? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay good. Don't push it. <laughs> I was like, let me help. No, you don't need it. Now you're good. Hmm. So you guys get up onto the top. Oh. Okay. And then, oh wait, I forgot. Did your you want strength. me? No, I, I don't. Yeah. If I don't, if you don't need me to roll. No, no. Give me a roll. Because you're helping. I oh, got an eleven. With the way that you've been rolling mm -hmm. this game, I have to make sure you don't like like ninety nine. Let's try and burn them oh, out. <laughs> so you're all cutting it. Oh wait, why am I cutting this? <laughs> this isn't what we were doing. Um, no. So you are on top of the roof now. You're looking down. You can easily get down on the uh, uh, towards the the dock side, and you uh, you can make your way. You see where the the old man is headed. Uh, um, let's see. You've only got how many hit points do you have? Like two, and you have. I am. Ooh, hold on. Where? Oh, since we healed up, I haven't taken any damage yet. Okay. So I'm still at eleven. Uh, Brenda. Well, <laughs> yeah. For I'm now. At <laughs> you're at five, and you're I'm at, at eight. eight. All right. So who has not had? I know they tried to do first aid to you and it was not successful. Have you tried? So you guys might want to do first aid right now to mm -hmm. at least get a point back mm -hmm. before you go towards this. Like do it on yourself? To myself? Yeah, yeah. You can, you can do it. Can I? Yeah, I did it. Can I first aid? No. Yeah, sure. Ingvold? What? Uh, all right, just a regular success. Oh, that's fine. That's all you need. Okay. So you get a point back. One point back? Yeah, one point back. Now I have six hit points. I have three. Uh, uh, uh. Steven, we're doing hit, hit points, points real quick. Nice. Uh, so, uh, I, didn't, I didn't make my check. You didn't make your check? Okay. Um, does somebody want to try to help him out? Yeah, yeah can we do that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll... Okay. Ooh, I did. Wow. Very well. So you get a point as well. So everybody basically gets one point back. Does it matter if I got an extreme success? Right, me too. We both <laughs> no, did. It doesn't on first aid. No, extreme. No. It's extreme. Um, that's Means one thing just about the system. Very lightly lay thumbs. It's really yes, based. Will I be able to play the piano thumbs, after this first aid? My thumbs were yes, yes. Hit. Well, that's weird. I couldn't before. <laughs> okay. Vikings invented pianos. <laughs> <laughs> um, just Vikings invented everything. Is really, really what did. we're getting at. Yeah. So just go with that. <laughs> I think there's a book out there that says Irish, Irish, Irish invented everything, like the fax machine and everything else. Well, they're, they're wrong. So it's Vikings. It's Vikings. Right, it was Vikings. Yeah. Or, or or Klingon. Yeah. Like Klingons. Vikings invented yeah. Klingons. Right. I mean, in all honesty, China pretty much invented everything. A lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of stuff. <laughs> all right. So, how do you guys want to get across to this without getting into a fight? Because you guys really can't. Mm. Fight these guys at this point. You know, we have one bag of gold. I'm feeling pretty good about that. 
<laughs> this is true. Fuck we, it, let it burn. We were, we were hiding to get back one dude from a call, not stop or ride. True. Um, so what you could do, um, we could just do luck rolls across the way and see if you guys can <laughs> make your way across. Stone all the way. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is, well, it's going to be better than stealth because you're not doing yeah. a stealth thing. Yeah. They know we're up here. <laughs> yeah. It's not like you can be stealthy. Um, my luck is better than my stealth. My stealth is better than my luck, <laughs> but only slightly. Unfortunately, there are so many people down there that it's it, you know that. Are they like looking up at us? Is it no? Like, they're just they're they're, they're going after people who don't seem to be infected. Worried. Yeah. So the the infection is like for sure spreading down there. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. The worms are getting into more people. Okay. I, before we do anything else, uh -huh. I'm going to make a call out to Aina. Okay. Ooh. Because this is her lands, and we have done her a favor, and perhaps <laughs> she can help us now in, in our hour of need. All right. Give me a power roll. Roll against your power. I got the power. <laughs> uh, 45 out of 75. Ooh, okay. Nice. And my guess is that the goddess that we're facing is her her dark opposite. Okay. Like in that diagram where I saw the the right. sort of world and she's on top and everything's growing and nice and whatever and then down below there's another goddess and everything's all horrible. Yeah. Okay. Um so, you can so see it in my little stick figure. <laughs> <laughs> you make this uh, this thing, and suddenly uh, Mirna reaches into her pocket and pulls out the coin. And you get a sense that the coin will protect you through the mass. Till you, as long as you have it out in front of you and you're all near each other, you can make your way through the mass to the area. Like I consciously know that, or I'm just like, oh, this coin, I think I want to hold it. <laughs> you consciously okay. know it. Okay. It makes sense to you. So it's obviously, you feel like she's giving you this clue, basically. Okay. I, I I think we could get through with this. Then, then let's, let's try, try it. it. Okay. Shield around. I agree. Around her. <laughs> it's the Snickers. It's <laughs> this. Yes. Oh. All right. Oh. So, so you shield guys. Shield around her so that that's the only thing exposed. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Lovely. All right. So you guys this is more delicious. take the coin and you start walking through and it seems to keep these creatures kind of at, at bay or not noticing you're there. Okay, it's I was gonna ask if it was more like a invisibility than a force field. Yeah, it's an invisibility kind of thing. And mm -hmm. you're making your way towards the, um, towards the area and uh, there's this uh, entrance way to a lower level uh, of the docks and you get in um, and I'm going to, uh, you get in and I'm going to say, because you thought of that and you have the coin, uh, I'm going to give everybody, uh, five, uh, sand points because Ooh. of the coin. So everybody gets five sand points. Lovely. And I'm going to give you I'm three hit that. points each. Ooh. So, and you and can thank else? chat for that. Cause that, that particular one is a, um, thank tier. You, chat. Thank you, chat. Uh, I have Thank 79 you, now. You and said, uh, you said sand and what else? Sand and hit points. So oh, okay. five, was... five sand and three hit points. Yes. Oh, five sand, three hit points. Hooray. Woohoo. So I'm at six hit points now and 66 You feel sand. like this was a, a good charm. Like six, it, six, six. It helped you guys out. And this was in the lover's apartment, right? right? This was in the lover's apartment. Um, so you guys go down into 
below the docks. One sec. Let me see. Doop. We're thinking really hard. Which mm -hmm. we really want? Do we? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> if we go. Hmm. Or. <laughs> <laughs> But if we go, <laughs> more of it. That was horrible. Did you say more? Keep going. More, more. He said it was morable, adorable. Um, oh. Adorable. Oh. Oh. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Dear Lord. All right. So, underneath the the docks towards, and you can you can. Hear the, the the water kind of hitting one of the side retaining walls, right? And you notice that there are um, these tunnels that kind of lead down away from the water. And there are ever so often bones that have been built into the wall and they look relatively fresh, like this is new construction work down here. And they've been slowly, you know, uh, putting these different skeletons in. Now the skeletons are not the same, like they're not just like, you know, a skeleton, skeleton. They're posed in different, uh, they're, they're in different poses. And like doing activities or just doing activities? Disturbing. Yeah. I know what they're building. <laughs> it's the poltergeist pool. <laughs> oh. Wow, they really, that was a lot of forethought. It was. <laughs> um, so. He was a magic poltergeist. Yep. <laughs> um, and pools. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. And you guys start to make your way down this hallway. <coughs> and it's pitch black. <coughs> um, do you guys have, uh, I'll, I'll say you guys can make a, you know, rip off a part of your cloth or clothing or whatever and make a makeshift torch makeshift torch um with a bone right yeah excuse this excuse me <laughs> oh you don't need that's, that i don't think that's perfect <laughs> um, no, sam also be if you pulled it and the skeleton went <laughs> that's mine you jerk uh, excuse me <laughs> that's me. that's mine okay so um as, as you're moving your way down the hallway, you, you sometimes notice that the, it seems like the walls are kind of shifting, almost like they're kind of leading you down a path, okay? And like the walls are like yeah, moving like to open a pathway, not like bugs are on the wall? No, no, like they're moving to open a pathway. Okay. Um, uh, give me a sand check, everybody. Ooh. Because you're used to killing nope. things. Nope. Yeah. Mm -mm. Did not make my sand check. Did not. This is totally normal. <laughs> we are fine. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do individuals. Here. So I'll start with you. Uh, you take three points to your sand. Yikes. It just got those back. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh, uh, well, yeah. I'm exactly where I was at the beginning of the game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not a bad place to be. This is true. Roggy. You, did you get it or no? No, no, no. Hit me. Six. Oh! oh I'm worse than I was before. It is freaking oh, you yeah. out. Can you do an intelligence check to see if you understand the full gravity of everything that's going on? Am I doing I one as well? No, because... Oh, it's... shit! I made it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> one sec. Because well, we both failed our Yeah, but you got three and he got six. If you get oh, five or over, then okay. you have to check. Yeah, I was, I'm I sorry. I, didn't, I should have made clear. Now, I have a question. At what point, as your sanity degrades, are there, um, like, permanent effects that happen? Or are there <laughs> yes, other stuff there that occurs? Um, because I am pretty low from where I started. You are at 25. Yeah. Yeah. You're pretty low. Um, things start cracking up. Uh, and you start having more and more hallucinations as things as the game goes on. Okay. At this point, you're gonna get a phobia, and it's gonna stick for a while. Okay. So uh, let's figure out what that phobia is gonna be. 
can you give me a, uh, just roll a hundred sided, you know, the percentile and let me know what you get. Uh, oh. 98. That's wow. Not it's probably really bad. <laughs> right? Fear of oh. breathing. <laughs> oh, that would be... Were you That'd the one who was afraid of men? I was afraid of dark. Fear skill of last, dark. Last, last game. Somebody was afraid of men. I think it was Magnus at one point. He was afraid of yeah. men. Yeah. yeah. Just Can you general. read yeah. 98 for me? <laughs> afraid? 98. <laughs> <laughs> Gynophobia. Fear of women. Oh. <laughs> You're in the right the party side. for that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. These women have led you down a bad path. <laughs> I, seriously. Every it's turn, a shifting bad path. It's misandry. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's too, I mean, it's been literally six hours of running from people, burning down. They have, they have sent you down the rock. Oh my God, you're around all these women. It's freaking you out. Now, the way that this is going to work is you're going to have to make like a... Um, I guess uh, I guess power is closer to your wisdom, so you're gonna have to make a power check to be able to not freak out and run away from them, and then later down the line you might have to make another roll to be able to keep it together, kind of thing. Okay. But you're on edge, mm. completely on edge. Okay. So uh, give me a power check right now. Made it. Okay. So you're you're able to. You're able to stay, you know, Tolerate there. Tolerate the horribleness of us. The, the, the horribleness Horrible. of the fact that these women have driven you <laughs> right, right. into this situation. Here it is almost a guy. I mean, <laughs> African mountain. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, as you guys follow this pathway for a while, uh, slowly echoing down the chamber... You hear Sounds louder like and louder. <laughs> ah. Viking chanting. Shame. Oh, St. Benedictine monks. These guys are great. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you come to the end of the hallway, and there's this huge circular chamber. And the hallway is like up here, and then there's a drop, and then there's a, like a cat walk underneath, <laughs> a circle, right? And then there's this <laughs> black liquid underneath that's kind of boiling down below. Does it smell and look the same Does as it yeah, look like it's yeah. similar. The yeah. And in the along the catwalk are these people in these robes chanting, and you know um, they seem to be as they're chanting, the bubbles start to get more and more. Uh, what do you want to do? Oh, man. Can I make an occult check? Sure. Uh, made it. Just regular success. Okay. Um, can I make one? Yeah, absolutely. Anybody anybody can make an occult roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's yeah. see this occult. Nope. No? I've got a 5%. <laughs> oh. Yeah, me too. Yeah, no, you like guys are not the occult people. We're the stabbing people. Mm -hmm. People. Um, um, you don't know what's about to come out of the water, but you get the feeling that if they're allowed to continue chanting, it's, something bad's gonna it's happen. Gonna, something bad's gonna happen. Do I, am I able to tell by the level of movement in the water, like, right. has this been going on, like, did they maybe just start, or it's like, we're about to have something They're actually burst about out to, of one of them starts to make all of these motions and we're talking and the others it's die like, down. It's so happening. we're like pretty much at yeah, that point. Yeah. Okay. Um, so how do you guys want to deal with it? How many of them are there? There's about, I want to say there's 20 all together that are chanting. And then the, the main guy who's talking right now, he's, uh, he's kind of off to the left. And like I said, there's about, Six feet from where this doorway lets out and the ledge that you guys are on and the ledge that's below. The ledge that's below is closer to the water. 
and it's rising up. Mm -hmm. So it looks like the is other it water, or is this, this gunk? Is the gunk? Light them on fire. Light them on fire. <laughs> I was. I want to say maybe yeah. If the orange whip. Orange was, if the orange whip. The gump was flammable. Mm -hmm. We throw the torch in. And then back into the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> no one was up. No one was up here. <laughs> okay, so you guys do notice. Um, everybody, give me a spot hit and roll, please. Is anybody ranged? Does anybody Ew. have any sort of ranged abilities? Uh, no. Really. Yes, I, I hit got it on my the spot nose. Hidden. I did not spot any hidden. Okay. No, no spotting. Before all of this happened, um, your employer gave you a very clear set of what the person is who you're looking for. Ah, okay. That's okay. what I was laughing at earlier. Is we never got a description of what is. Yeah, yeah, actually. Oh. Yeah. What does this guy look like? And you <laughs> noticed. Uh, I just assume that that's part of the information uh, that you see now. It's rising higher. Um, you see that uh, he's there. So here's my question, and I need a, a quick response of how you want to deal with this. You see him. You see the water rising up. This guy's about done with his incantation to bring whatever goddess he's bringing back. You have seen gods brought into the world before. It is not fun. Mm -hmm. um, so. And we feel so like do this you want is a quick probably answer? beyond yes. stopping I throw one of my spears point. at the guy who's doing the chanting. Yeah, okay. I yeah, I don't think I would care to the say this The main guy. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, since I gave me the occult check, Like you I said, you're, like, you're okay with just one, one bag of gold. Uh, we well, wait, wait, wait. I thought... I thought I thought his his boyfriend is the one who's being no, sacrificed. He's the one doing the chanting. No, the boyfriend and he's just is one of the cult he's members. He's one of the cult members that's okay. going to get sacrificed. Okay. All of the oh, ones on the, they're on that they're bottom on the, tier. The, the bottom oh. tier. So uh, the water is yeah. going to envelop yeah. them. Yeah. Kill the guy chanting. The the yeah, so I want to try and kill the guy who's chanting. Okay, so cool. I'm going to throw one of my one of my spears at him. Maybe he should have taken chanting. Sorry. No. Oh. Oh, yeah. 98. So your your spear hits and, and clangs. Clankety. And uh, <laughs> he finishes his, his incantation. Do not fail me. I just Do not fail me. He finishes his incantation, and suddenly the water just rises up really quickly, envelops the... Uh, the cultist. So he doesn't like freak out at the spear that misses him or anything. Well, or? because the way that I was, it, you were either going to hit him or because mm -hmm. he's he's okay. fanatical and in the whole moment. So he's it's not like zone. he's in the zone. If you had hit him, you would have stopped him. Um, we wouldn't have had. I mean, the the bottom tier. I'm assuming there's no way we could just quickly like grab the guy and like yank him up in the amount of time that we have. Um. His, his if you want to in. give that a try, I would give you, uh, we could just call it a luck roll if you okay. want to give that a try, sure. I mean, it makes sense to me. No. Okay, so you can go <laughs> and try to grab at him, but you can't. I'm just like flailing my hand right. down the thing. And he's he finishing <laughs> right helping. as you throw the spear. He finishes the last word, it misses him, and the water comes up and starts to, to envelop the, the cultists, and they, they kind of disappear. And there's this uh, great rumbling and something starts coming out of the water and a second and you guys are like I said you're watching at this hallway so you're kind of back um, what comes up is this black mass of uh, uh, like moving it's like um, here let me show you picture <laughs> Really something horrifying. <laughs> so. Oh, oh my. Yeah, that's scary. Oh. That thing starts coming out of the water. Ah. Sorry, the camera. Woohoo. Um, so, before we go. I don't even know what I'm looking at there. It's some sort of Rorschach. Some sort of yeah. Yeah. horrible, thing. horrible yeah, it's, thing. It's a cow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a thistle. Um, I don't know. It's a thistle. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's the end. I think that's part of the point. Your brain can't really. We don't even know what that arms is. Arms are 
the arms are all of it. Too long. Looks all of it is arms. All of it is arms. All of it is eyes. It's like it's a bunch of reindeer that got melted together yeah. somehow. It's like all the plastic reindeer for mm. Christmas got melted together. <laughs> the plastic <laughs> reindeer. Nice. Plastic reindeer. Okay. Um, <laughs> so before we. Before I want to just do the uh, the run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. All right. The plastic reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> that reindeer just stop. <laughs> <laughs> now run, really run away. Right. That's we run scary. away. Yeah. Uh, oh. There's been a request to show it again. Yeah. Oh sure, absolutely. What's the best camera to do it on? The webcam. That one. Webcam. Probably. Because everything's in blue vision. Ah. If you want, I can hold that closer. Is that good? If they can see. Um, uh, that's pretty close. Like, that's good. That's good. That works. That's what it looks like. All right. Creepy. So this thing is horrible. Yeah. Very, very, very horrible. And the guy says in full voice, rise, mother of the world. Shub Negroth, you are free. <coughs> so, I need you guys to make sand checks. Mm -hmm. I mean, this seems like a daily occurrence. <laughs> Didn't make that uh, one. I made it. I, made it. I got a 16. It is a daily occurrence. Like, I have <laughs> dreamt about this like all the time. I, I made it. My nightmares weird. By I descend further into madness. <laughs> I am, yeah. I also just cannot comprehend. As a uh, as a Viking, I, I I'm not driven insane, and I don't have any idea what this is. As someone who's read Lovecraft, it's terrifying. Mm. <laughs> We're it's... all dead. <laughs> We're just dead. That could be worse if you're not looked up. Yeah, that's true. God. This one players are such nihilists, I goat, swear. Goat of a, with a thousand young or something? Yeah, the black, the, yeah, the yeah. black yeah. goat of, cool. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so, who made it and who did not? I made, made it. it. Made it? No. No, okay. No. The Sklars family, whatever. All <laughs> right. Well. Last names are weird. Sklars, Sklars daughter. Yes. And Sklars daughters are fine. Sklar's daughters are fine. Mm -hmm. I did not fully understand it when we get to that point. I'm just saving you a dollar. This <laughs> might be, uh, this might be uh, beyond that. Okay. So. Oh, good. Yeah, oh, good. All right, so if you did not make it, you lose 25 cents. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. You're dead. You're <laughs> You're just Your head explodes. You're just going, yeah. Scanners. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, just a red ball drops out. I don't know where it's from. <laughs> My daughter. Now, we just that's... push you into the black goo. Let's forget <laughs> it. Just, it's lost. Just, yeah, it's useless. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> it's a shame I really like Froggy. <laughs> um, I know. I'll have to make his brother. <laughs> Froggy. Froggy, Froggy. too. <laughs> Froggy. Froggy. Yeah, Froggy. Froggy. Um... They really need to do a better, let's see. These palatable. Are we at the hashtag usable index? Yeah. Well, no, it's <laughs> ah, here we go. Okay. Impact, I was just having index. a hard time finding what the Sandy lost. Now, if you made it, you only suffer a D6. You take a whopping four points. Okay. Um, uh, they we didn't did make, we haven't rolled We haven't that yet. found out how much so we lose. They've taken, they've taken four. I, I have 59. I have 67. Oh, well, you're doing great. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty, I think I'm the sanest one here, actually, yeah. maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah. You're pretty I'm sane. Far. Slightly. Yeah. I'm 59. Mm. Pretty sane. I'm only 59. All right. Considering you're a regular so, player? I mean, yeah. that's pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah. I know, right? Shub Nagroth is 100%, 100, 1D 100. So, <laughs> let's see. Now, you might not be dead. We don't know I'm yet. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Let's see if I roll. This is a big one. I'm going to roll out here. 75% chance you get higher. Oh, oh my God. Oh. That's a 93. What? what? It's a 93. Oh. Our heads just explode. Oh. So they're both oh, dead. They're both dead. 
Their eyes bleed. I mean, you, and, yeah. their noses. and we're sitting here like, what? what? <laughs> And they're like, oh, that's fun. Hey, I'm, oh! I'm only negative 62. <laughs> so both of you. Oh. We just have both of you massive just like, aneurysms, heart your attacks, your heart attack all of it at explode, the same time. And you fall. First date! First date! You stumble forward and fall over the railing in the goo. Uh. And that's the last thing you see. What are you guys doing? <laughs> run. Good night, folks. Run. 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 Yeah. Run. Bye. yeah. I gotta so, run like a flock of seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see me escaping? Cool. I was Sorry, like, whoa. I'm running out of note space on my character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm Frog. sad to see Frog guys go. Frog is a wonderful character. Yeah. I know, I know. We're gonna miss him, but it is a horror we'll game. We'll figure something else. So, you, you guys are running. You're not, you're dead. I am very um, dead. So, you're running. Through the streets. You're running and, and in Valhalla. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Next time in Valhalla. Yeah. <laughs> so we cut to you guys getting out of the. Oh shit, it's just a field of wheat. I'm in Elysium. God damn it. <laughs> I'm too close to Rome. Oh, <laughs> uh, wrong place. Um, wouldn't that be horrible if that's how it's worked? If that's how it worked, depending on your geographical location at the time of death. <laughs> so. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> But there's a novel in that. Mm. Talene, yeah. if you're watching, there's a novel in that. Yeah. So, uh, cut to you guys. You guys get out. Um, there's this horrible, mm. well, I don't know. I think that the city falling around, around your... Now, oh, in my final moments, tell my ex-wife she's still a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Gita was only 19 years old. <laughs> so you were really middle age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. He had already had three kids. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll be fine. They're like six and seven. They're totally self-sustaining by yeah. now. Yeah. They're adults, basically. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Okay. So as you guys are running through the streets and buildings start to fall as this thing's coming out and you're not looking behind you and you're trying to like focus on not dying dying um uh so here's what we're gonna do uh i want you to give me luck rolls to get go ahead and give me a luck roll and let me know what you have i'm not very lucky. yes i made it okay so as you're running and everybody, like the ground is shaking, everything's rumbling, um, buildings are starting to fall. <laughs> Do you want to push your luck roll? Uh, Do you want to push your luck? I guess so. Okay. Push it. Push your luck. Come push on, come luck. on, no whammy. Yay! Yay. Okay. Yay. Much better. So right? you guys are lucky. You are one of the few <laughs> yes. that literally get out. Um, and uh, you, you make it like, 50 or like 50 or 100 yards from the city when the city explodes in this like green ball of horrible flame and uh, you don't look behind you you just keep going because you, you can hear everything and you see that the sky kind of turns this different hue as the fires going on whatever you um, do Miriam don't look <laughs> um, <What? and> <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of like, yeah. Don't look. Put pillar. Um, you never even got to paint him. <laughs> oh. Oh. Cool. We don't really use the miniatures anyway. So, but it still would have been nice to paint. Yeah. You could still, All right. still paint him. Um, so that's In the honor. end. You guys get away. You guys are going to find Grimir and Magnus down the road. Um, what may have I, been confused? We just never showed up again. And yeah, totally. <laughs> what happened to Fuck him. Birna? Fuck those people. <laughs> right? yeah. Gita and uh, Bragi have lost their lives, unfortunately. And they lost their minds before they died. Yeah, yeah. they lost, they their, lost minds. their lives because they lost their minds. I don't minds. know that we lost our lives. I think we lost our minds. So you yeah. fell we into might, the we might, we might show up later. Yeah. So I literally have them listed as. Super dead and amazing. <laughs> Accurate. Anyway, um, so thank you guys for playing. I I know that you know losing characters is hard, but it's hey, but a it was the game. it was the 
I mean, yeah. her regular, like the regular spots <laughs> right? are still here. Right, but the you guests get, just died. The guests just died. <laughs> But you so, guys, you know, it's yeah, it's, it's like an guest episode, the show like an episode die. of Columbo. So yeah. the next time, the <laughs> next time you, you do come die. back, <laughs> the next time you come back, you'll be a different person. Right. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, look, two of the main cast members beam down with two other non-regular <laughs> cast members. <laughs> They're like, look who we found, guys. But you know, you died well. It's not like you got a. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. We didn't get it's stabbed like in a rusty. A you know, death. stabbed with a rusty knife. No, in the I mean, that's a tough. <laughs> or like that's fell a off a roof yeah. and died. Like that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. That would have been so, embarrassing. Um, obviously, part of the game uh, uh, was kind that's of a, what you're a nod. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My honor and dignity are gone. <laughs> um, Part of the nod was obviously to Romero, and uh, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, there is, what's going, is there anything coming up Monday? I don't think we have anything on the weekend, right? Not, not this time. weekend, Not no. this weekend. Right. Um, and then I think we have an RPG, yes, on Monday. Okay. I'm not positive. Oh, is it the? I no. think it might be Buffy. If I'm wrong, you'll see later. I think it's Buffy, but I'm not sure. There's a oh. Jordan would know, but there, yeah, RPG yes Monday night. That's our, um, uh, it's RPG Exploration Society. Where so we do we, different things. Yeah, we do different. We do different RPGs. But we're not like sure which one it's going to be. New random ones. Yeah, it kind of changes. I mean, it does change from Every week. Monday to Monday. And then Tuesday we'll have Disorganized Play with Tom Rommel, in which he. Talks about his prep for Iron Keep, which is our Wednesday night right. um, Iron Keep Chronicles D and D Five E show at eight p.m. And then Thursday we'll have Tom talking about how that went. Uh, on <laughs> and then, play. then never tell me the odds. Is, ne uh, is it never tell me the odds this week? I or think is it crit? That we do. Uh, the I'm first... on that show. You'd think I would know. <laughs> I think you. Yeah, I think you have never tell me the odds, which is our Star Wars Fantasy Plates show at eight p.m. Kelsey yeah. hears it. Um, and then I think, because I think Crit Juice, which is another D&D game that we run once a month, is on the first Thursday of, the, of each month, yeah. I think. I think that changed. And then Friday, we'll be back again. Yay! Yay. 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 Um, so, uh, thank you guys. Uh, right now, just for my little plug, Drive Through RPG is having a sale. Uh, so everything for plate mail games, audio-wise, is on sale. So please check that <laughs> out. Music-wise, too. What? Music-wise, too. Mu Music-wise, too. <laughs> uh, all the stuff that we put out. Um, also, we have uh, not only the Saving Throw uh, Patreon, but we also have a Patreon as well. It's one buck, gets you two tracks a month, per two tracks. I usually put out four tracks, so two bucks a month to get a, you know, stay current with audio for your games. And uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for unlocking the tiers that you did. I hope you enjoyed yes, the you. show, and uh, we will, uh, anybody have anything they want to plug real quick before we sign off? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, thank nope. you. We'll see you Not in a week, time. and we'll hopefully, uh, you know, you'll join us. Bye. Bye. Bye.